All right, y'all, it says I'm live. Am I actually live? Am I? Maybe somebody give me some feedback there in the comment box. Can you hear me? There's Michael Cooksey. Jeff Gerald says, here we go. Cody Yak fishing's in the house. Stephen Parsons, Realville Catfishing, Evolving Angler. Stephen Stanton says, there he is. K&K &K says, I'm live. All right. Good deal. Do I look a little blurry to you all? I feel like I'm a little blurry. Let me clean the screen. Bear with me. That looks much better. I think my camera lens was, was dirty there. Let me hit this right away, y'all. We got a super chat from somebody up here. I can't find it. I see it at the top of the screen. I don't know who done it. I can't click on it, y'all. It must have been before the stream started. Somebody super chatted me $4.99. I don't know who it is. Man, I hate that. Daggone. Oh, there's Nikki Hayes. It's William Apple, $4.99. Thank you, William Apple. Thank you all so much. I, for some reason, I can't see it, I guess, from where it was before the stream. Some, normally, I can, but for tonight, tonight, I can't for some reason. All right, y'all, let's get some baits down. What do you say? I'm going to uh, put this camera back here in the chest a second while I get my cutting board. I'm a little late getting out here and getting set up. I was going to get us some live bait in addition to the uh, skipjack, but I got out here a little late and I got one, let me get us a skipjack here. I got one live bluegill and then I had a smallmouth bass get me wrapped in a tree limb and broke off and I did not have time to retie and catch any more bluegill before I come over here and, and get set up, you know, before six o'clock like we had set the stream for. So we're gonna put a big skipjack head on one rod. I'm gonna put a smaller bait on another. We'll have a little bit bigger chunk and then we'll have the one live bluegill that I got on another rod. I was just wanting to have me a few, just a few live baits, but I've never been one for punctuality and getting somewhere on time. <laughs> so it is what it is. We're gonna go with what we got here. We got the most important bait, which is the skipjack. All right, let's get these things on. We'll put the headpiece on this front left. We'll probably end up adding another headpiece at some point, y'all. But we'll just go with this one skipjack I got cut right now. Do two bodies, one head, and the live bait to start. Let me get that set. Y'all, I'm gonna drop baits down to it looks like 43 feet right now. Have them suspended right off the bottom. And I'm in a creek channel. We're going to sit here for the duration of our trip until I get so cold that I go home or till about 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, whichever comes first. <laughs> it's already a little chilly out here. Temp's not too bad, but the wind, that wind's a little cold. That's part of the reason for me wanting to come here was the wind tonight. It's not, not bad, just a little bit. Some places out on the main lake, open water would be a little bit, uh, maybe a little choppy. So there goes that bait down, but here where I'm positioned at in this creek, I'm on Milton Hill tonight. Um, more narrow body of water. Even if the wind kicks up later on, it shouldn't be bad. It shouldn't be a problem for us. All right, there's that one down. Let's do this other body piece on the back left rod and then we'll get the live bait on the back right side rod. Then I can do away with this bucket in front of me because I won't need it anymore. All right, y'all, down it goes. Got people over here fishing up. Always a little awkward talking on camera when people are around, but we're gonna go with it. 
this is as far back as I can get in this creek and have cell phone service, so we're just going to try to make it work here. I've got a cell phone signal booster coming. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. We're going to try out. Hopefully it'll help on future, future trips. I can't get a hold of him, y'all. There he is. There's just a live bait, the one and only live bait tonight. For those of you that tuned in on time, get a good look at him because he's the only live bait you're going to see tonight. <laughs> get down there and do us proud, little bluegill. All right, let's drop him down to the depths. Again, looks like about 43 feet here in a creek channel. I'm going to suspend my baits right off the bottom. So they'll be 40, 41 feet deep. And we're going to set in this creek channel. I'd like to go back further in it, but we learned that cell phone service back there just ain't good enough to go live. I buffer too much back there. Out here, for whatever reason, I can go live. So that's what we do. All right. I think we got our baits out here. Let me get the hood off. It might help with the microphone there too. Lord, I've got some super chats already here, man. Who was that $50 one up there? Let me scroll up. Let me scroll. Who was that? Was that Callie? Oh, it is, man. Callie. K&K &K Fishing Adventures, $50. It says 45 mile an hour wind gusts up here today. No fishing for me. Got you on the TV while I do my homework. Hope you catch some big ones. Thank you, Callie. I hope we do too. Weather here, Cali, has been better than yours, but uh, it's still not great. We had a cold front come through yesterday. Dropped the t it was warm yesterday. The winds were up. We got some rain. And then today, it's been much, much cooler. It's been highs in the 50s today. It's going to get down into the low 40s tonight. Uh, so it's going to be a little chilly out here by the time I leave. And uh, tomorrow, one weather report says high winds tomorrow. The other says winds are calm, but then Thursday and Friday, we're supposed to get some more rain and whatnot. So I figured tonight, probably the best chance I have of going live. <laughs> so we're going to go with it. Weather be damned. Who was that other one there? 999. Was that Faith Hill? I think that was Faith Hill I seen pop up. Where'd it go? There it is. Or Faith Wright. Faith Hill. I'm, I'm talking about the singer. Faith Wright, 999. This has been Wading Creek all day. If the catfish are feeding like the trout today, we are in for a show. Well, man, I hope they are. I'm on Melton Hill tonight, not known for its catfish, but this time of year in these creeks, I have done well. And we got a big one the last time out on the full moon I was in this creek. And, and again, I like fishing further on back in this creek. I can position my baits better there. But cell phone service ain't going to allow it. So I'm out here toward the farther on out toward the entrance of the creek um, and we're going to go with it so hopefully we're going to catch some fish if not we're going to have a good time just hanging out tj davis five dollars has got a cooler full of skipjacks and i'm about to have four days on wheeler any advice man my advice to you is have fun have a good time i think you're going to catch some big fish down there man i don't know where the fish are at or what they're biting right now down there in alabama but uh most people that go down there to Alabama catches some catches some big big fish. So I hope you have a great trip. Thank you for that super chat. I think I overlooked one there. I did. Catfish and Dreams says five dollars. My money is on the live gill swarp a hog. <laughs> well, thank you, man. I'm gonna try. I hope that live bait gets eaten. I mean, I'm missing a bunch of comments here to start, y'all. I apologize. I'm going to get these Super Chats first, though. Philip Island, man, $5. Thank you, Philip. He said, heard you say you have a cell phone signal booster coming in tomorrow. Did you find a wireless one or go with a mobile hotspot? I found a wired one. <laughs> We're going to try. I've got the uh, WeBoost. What's the name of it? We boost something, it's the one for cars. It's the most expensive one they make for cars. And the car version has a 12 volt plug-in. So I can plug it in here to my kayak and power it. And the car version, you don't have to have as much distance between the internal and external antennas. So I'm hoping I can 
space them out far enough to be able to use it effectively. If not, I'm gonna send it back. I ordered it on Amazon, so I've got a, a return policy there if it don't work out, but uh, it's a expensive accessory. $500 for that thing, insane. I went up to uh, the mall yesterday. I was gonna get a Verizon phone. I went to, I was gonna get another iPhone. I have AT&T, I was gonna get Verizon service. That way I could have two phones, two services, and hopefully have coverage in some places that I wouldn't in others with the AT&T and vice versa. You cannot buy an iPhone in Knoxville, Tennessee right now. Apparently the chip shortage isn't just for vehicles, it's for phones too. So Apple doesn't have phones. Uh, I went to a Verizon store. They didn't have any phones. It's mid to late November to order a new phone and get it set up. I'm like, let's just go ahead and try the signal booster thing and see what happens with it. So it'll be here tomorrow, which again, I don't know if I'm gonna get to try it out for a while due to the weather. If the wind's not bad tomorrow, maybe we do. If it is bad, audio will suck and no point in even trying, but we'll get it figured out. We'll get it dialed in. Let me scroll up, man. I had some more. I did right there, Timothy Carey, man, $5. Thank you, buddy. It says, good luck, love these night live streams working during the day. Well, thanks, Timothy, man. I appreciate you tuning in, making me part of your night. There's Curtis Large in the house, Catfish Club member. Luke Huffman, I've been on 11 minutes now. We just got baits down. Happy birthday, Trent Dotson. Hey, there's my man, Holichek. Matt, what's going on? He says, just bought my kayak catfish hat. Very good quality, much better than I expected. Good luck tonight. Hey, thanks, man. I'm glad you're liking that hat and thanks for buying it. I'm rocking it tonight too, but I'm probably gonna have a toboggan on before long. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. And Matt too. Matt always hits me up every live stream, wanting me to give a shout out to the troops and first responders. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to start off the show. Shout out to everyone out there in the armed forces, police, fire, healthcare, first responders, all the truck drivers, everybody public service right now. Thank you all so much for what you do. I appreciate you. I uh, think everybody in my chat box here does too. Y'all are the ones that keep the world running. We got Michael Barron, my man, Michael, $2 said, what's up, buddy? Just wanted to say, hey, and stay safe. Well, thank you, Michael. I think we'll stay safe tonight. I don't know about staying warm though. <laughs> Let me scroll on down. I've missed a bunch of comments, y'all. I apologize. There's Jesse Tenorio. It says, Deborah's letting me watch again. Thank you, Deborah. Thanks for letting Jesse watch. Jesse's a Catfish Club member, too. Nikki Hayes, Catfish Club. She says, Ken Elliott's birthday is today. Well, happy birthday, Ken. I hope you have a great day. Lloyd Lowry says, firefighter here. Thank you for that. No, thank you, Lloyd. Thanks for what you do, man. Don Bell in the house. Watching me at work. What's going on, Don? Mike Miller, he says he's a trucker. He pulled over to watch, man. Thank you. Luke Huffman says, happy. Oh, he says, talking about happy birthday, Ken. I thought he was saying it was his own birthday. There's Jersey Boy fishing $5. Thank you, Jersey Boy. He says, Dude, I never click on live YouTube vids as fast as I do yours. My son Aiden was just telling me, let's watch some topwater blowups until we seen you. Well, thanks, man. Shout out to Aiden right there. I'm glad, I'm glad Aiden's letting you watch. <laughs> Thank you for that super chat. Look at Circle Hook Productions rubbing it in. Man, Clint down there in Texas says it's 105 degrees down there in Houston yesterday. I'd rather it be 105 than 45 that we're gonna have tonight. Anthony Irwin says he's also a truck driver. Hey, Becca's in the house. Says fishies, fishies, it's only the beginning. Fishies, fishies, I'm already grinning because I know Mr. Justin is gonna smash it tonight. Gonna catch you all with incredible fight. Well, thank you, Becca. Becca's a moderator of mine, helps me out a lot. I'm happy to have her in here. Mapping for catfishes are the Musky Bumper Kite Catfish Measuring Board still available. You can order a board off Musky Bumper anytime and just tell him you want the catfish version with the bigger bump and um, 
Um, you can have the fence on the back or not, totally up to you. I, I prefer not to have it. I like to make my own so I can get a little distance between it and the edge of the board. But totally, you know, he'll do whatever kind of board you want. Scroll up, where'd I leave off? There's Gail Reineke in the house. Says, where are you today? I tuned in late. I'm on Melton Hill today, Gail. We're swinging for the fences tonight. We're either gonna get skunked or we're gonna get a big fish. It's not gonna be a 30 fish night, I'll tell you that. We're gonna hopefully get one or two good fish. <clears throat> Let's see, Rob H in the house. Muskrat Adventures says he'll take 45 over 105, yeah. I don't do cold weather, man. Hey, there's Clint Payne. He says, what's up? It was good to talk to you Sunday. Good luck and don't burn up the good spots. <laughs> yeah, that's my buddy Clint there. Him and I, we fished in the uh, Watts Bar Bass Fishing Classic this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, I caught some fish, not very many. I got, ended up finishing seventh place. So I cashed a check, like 30 bucks, won a, a bag of lures as a raffle prize. So it was a really good event. Uh, very well run, but the fishing was tough. I caught um, four scorable bass. I caught another smaller bass, and then I caught several white bass and, and some smaller stripers. So I had some action out there, but just couldn't get the couldn't get the bit. My biggest bass was 17 inches, so I was never really in contention to win. But uh, nevertheless, seventh place, cashing against some of them guys, I'll take it. It was good to see Stephen and Clint. They're uh, fellow cat fishermen here in East Tennessee. I hardly ever see them. So it was good to catch up with them guys. Jeff Gerald says, a bit chilly out. Wasn't ready for the cooler weather yet either. Yeah, man, it snuck up on us quick. Seems like we, we never have a long fall. It seems like it goes from summer to winter real quick. There's Cody Yak fishing. We got Daniel Creech. Yeah, there he is. Um, Y'all know how I am. I don't like talking when other people's around, but they out here. We're going to roll with it. <clears throat> They'll be gone before I will. I promise you that. Z Deckard says, how do I become a member? I'm assuming you're talking about the Catfish Club. There's a link down in the video description there. And, um, you know, that membership, it's basically just to support my channel. I don't really have anything more to offer other than content. You do get a little icon next to your name. So as I'm scrolling through comments, I always go super chat first. Then I start looking for the members and then I start picking up everybody else. So it kind of makes your comments stand out. The other thing that you get is discounts with Catfish Sumo and merchandise. Uh, Catfish Sumo gives my members 15% versus the normal 10% for regular viewers. And then there's a 10% off merchandise code as well. But as far as membership, that's about, about all I have to offer right now. But it's in the video description there uh, if you want to check that out. We got Cody Yak Fishing, $5. Thank you, Cody. He says, hey, Justin, good luck. Did you find that mic you lost or did you buy a new one? Working here in Kentucky, going to hit a reservoir for flatheads on Sunday. Yes, uh, Cody, I'm rocking the mic tonight. When I got back to my car last week, that transmitter was between my car seat and the door. So I guess it just got knocked off and, and fell down there as I was getting out of the car. So thankfully I got it back, it's working and we are rocking it tonight. That would have been a very expensive mistake. Thank you for that super chat, Cody. We got William Apple back with $4.99. Thank you, William. It says, Charlotte is with me. Give her a hello. She loves it. Hey, Charlotte, what's going on? Thank you for letting William watch tonight. <laughs> More importantly, thanks for letting him give me some money. <laughs> That's awesome. I appreciate all the women that let the men watch my channel. I don't have a very big female audience but I got a lot of men who have women in their lives who allow them the time to watch. So I'm very thankful for them. Holacek says, become a member and support Justin so he can keep putting out these great videos. That's the biggest part. Yeah, man. You people that watch, y'all is what keep me going. Couldn't do it without you. <clears throat> Let's 
Douglas Medlin said, pulling it all out tonight, did I see two red sinkers? You sure did, Douglas. We are rocking two tonight. <laughs> Trying to double the luck. D. Duran says, no bananas, just uh, a moon pie, yeah. I hope ain't no bananas on here. Trevor Bond's got a good question. He says, hey, Justin, have you ever considered doing an ultralight trout video with the gulp? Uh, I may. God knows I can't catch them with the fly rod. We learned that there at my fly fishing class. So I may have to go try them with the gulp because I ain't going to be no fly more, no more fly fishing for me. <laughs> Penny Walter just joined the live. What did you miss? Nothing yet, Penny. I just got out here a little while ago and got baits dropped down. So nothing going on yet. There's Callie back, K and K Fishing Adventures YouTube channel. Five dollars. Thank you, Callie. He says, which mic do you use? I'm thinking about getting one for my videos, just not sure which to get. So, Callie, I've got a Rode Wireless mic. This is the, the new one. It's the Rode Wireless Go. It's got two microphones. So, if you're fishing with somebody else, you can mic them up like we did Friday there with my buddy Mark on Deuces Wild Fishing Charters. So, uh, it seemed to work pretty well with both of us talking at the same time. The, um, uh, they're, they're wireless. So you don't have to have wires going on you. You do have a transmitter that I've got on top of my phone that you can't see right now that plugs into the phone. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty simple setup. You just turn them on, they automatically pair, and then once it's plugged into your phone, this microphone takes over for the phone's microphone. A little pricey, uh, it's like $300 plus tax and shipping. So, you know, in the end, you're almost $400 when it's said and done. And the battery life, you're looking about five hours. Uh, maybe just a smidge longer on the on the battery that's in the microphone itself. So, so far so good with them though. Let me scroll up, make sure I didn't miss another there. I think I seen Patricia Barron pop up. That's Michael Barron's wife. It, she did. $10, thank you, Patricia. She said, I would always allow my husband, Michael Barron, to watch you. You're very entertaining and intelligent with catfishing. Well, thank you, Patricia. Trisha's a good woman. Michael, you've got a good one. You better keep her there for a while. Oh, Gail Rainicky. Yes. So Gail says, I'm trying to win the ugly stick on eBay. I'll have to go back and check after this. So yes, y'all. Uh, I mentioned this a few videos ago uh, a while back. So my ugly sticks that I built the channel with, I had four ugly sticks. Those were in my videos forever. Used them, awesome rods, had a great time and, and done really well on this channel with them. I have no use for them now. I'm using the catfish sumo rod. They're just gonna set in the closet. I thought about doing something like making a mount and hanging them on the wall and the girlfriend shot that down. She's not gonna allow that to happen. So I'm auctioning them off, raising money for my channel, maybe give you all some souvenir or just a, maybe a lucky fishing rod. So I put them on eBay or put, I'm doing one rod per week for the next four weeks and just kind of space them out, give everybody a chance to start the auction at 99 cents, free shipping and just let the auction go where it goes. It'll end on Sunday. So I'd, I'd made the auction for Sunday and then I was going to mention it in tonight's live stream and people already found it. They already been on there bidding on it. It was like $25, I think earlier there that the, the bid was up to. So I don't know how much they'll go for. I'm genuinely curious uh, to, to, to find out, but um, you're gonna see those on there the next few weeks. I'll also put a reel on there, that Bass Pro Cat Max reel. I tried selling it in my yard sale my online yard sale a few months ago, someone claimed it. They never paid for it. They never followed up with the email. So it's still sitting there. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put it on eBay too. Started out at 99 cents. If it's, it's worth about $25, truth be told. It, it needs some maintenance. It needs oiled, it needs cleaned. So if you're wanting it for a reel to use, then you're gonna have to do some work on it. It's worth about 25 bucks. If you're just wanting as like a souvenir of the channel, it's been in a lot of videos including some that's got a lot of views. You can put it on a shelf. I can autograph it for you if you want. So those are on eBay. There's a link to both of those auctions down in the video description of this video. And uh, those auctions will end on Sunday. So anyway, thanks, Gail. I appreciate you reminding me about that. You know how I get sidetracked. There's Josh Wagner from San Antonio, Texas watching. Ray Leakes says, the ultralight you did a couple weekends ago was great. Well, thank you, Ray. I'm glad you liked it. We'll probably do some more. 
when I get that Verizon phone, I'm gonna get an older model iPhone so it don't have the autofocus. Because I still can't I still can't turn the autofocus off on this new iPhone. So uh, it makes it hard when you ultralight fishing and your hands in front of the camera all the time. <clears throat> Philip Hollins says, got home from work and walked in the door. My wife said, you're already watching Kai Catfish. <laughs> That's great. Brokeback Bob says, one rod should go to your highest contributor. Well, Billy, Billy Hamilton's my highest contributor. I sent him a hook and uh, uh, a, a box of stuff here, here pretty recently. <clears throat> I wanted to make sure he got something good for all the money he's He's give to me. Nikki Hayes says, Cody, now you know Psycho Steve is always lurking. Yeah. I got a whole, oh man, I could tell you some stories, y'all. It's been a dramatic week here for me. I got solicited for sex the other night. The guy sent me a PayPal payment, 69 cents, wanting me to uh, take a big fish and, and pound him with it, I guess. Had his phone number on there. He's from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Then he sent me a message through PayPal later on, said that, bet that big fish between my legs is huge or something like that. I'm like, man, what a pervert. And then I got another YouTuber that's been raking me over the coals all week long here. So that's how it is, man. When you, when you got a YouTube following, that's how it works. <laughs> There's some weirdos out there. <clears throat> Where'd I leave? I took my finger off the screen, y'all. Where'd I go? There's Patricia's. Let me scroll on down. I saw another super chat. Cornelius Henderson, $5. Thank you, Cornelius. He says, watching your vids motivate the hell out of me. You're like little dink and I'll be like, bleep, bleep. I need to upgrade my tackle. <laughs> well, thank you, Cornelius. I'm glad I can motivate somebody. <clears throat> Cody Yakfish and says, why are people thinking I can kick them? I'm not a moderator. I'd love to be. Well, you know what, Cody? You've been following my channel a while. Cody Yakfish is now a moderator. I made Cody's dreams come true, I guess. <laughs> Let me scroll on down. There's Greg, mid-Tennessee. $10. Thank you, Greg. He says, hey, Justin, I just took my new Old Town 120 PDL out last weekend and had a blast. Did some exploring and ultralight fishing. Keep the content coming. Good luck and be safe. Well, thank you, Greg. I'm glad you're enjoying that Old Town kayak. I think you'll really like it. Them Old Towns, the pedal drive. This bass tournament we had this weekend allowed motors. I took the Hobie one day, and then the next day I took the Old Town. And I like bass fishing a lot better in the Old Town than I do actually with the motor. It's a lot easier to control when I'm, when I'm casting, when I can use the pedals with my feet. <clears throat> Well, I lost my place again there, y'all. I'm going to do that all night. There's Marvin. Marvin Mangum, $5. Thank you, Marvin. It says, good evening, everybody. Good luck, Justin. Well, thank you, Marvin. May need it tonight. Riley Taylor in the house with a $50 spot, as always. Thank you so much, Riley. It says, let's get the party started. Another slow night at work. So let's stop fishing and start catching. Hey, man, I hope we do. Yeah, well, those people are leaving, y'all, so now I can maybe feel a little bit more comfortable talking to the camera out here. They, uh, I got to the parking lot tonight where I launched at. There's one, one other boat trailer there, and I'll be damned if they ain't out here right there where I was wanting to be tonight. So I think it's bass fishing or throwing a cast net or something. So uh, anyway, now I'll at least feel more comfortable talking around the camera. We might put on a show for the people in the houses, but... Uh, nevertheless, we're going to have a good time tonight, y'all. There won't be any other boats out here tonight. I'll be the only one. <clears throat> anyway, again, back to you, Riley. That boat cranked up about the time I was talking to you. Thank you, Riley. Riley's one of my biggest supporters on this channel, watches every live stream, always hits me with 50 bucks. So thank you so much, Riley. You're one of them people that keeps this channel going, and I appreciate you so much. <clears throat> Man, I got, I got 523 people watching in here right now. Holy cow. That's a lot of people. Becca Mudtramp says, are you serious? Yeah, Becca. 
I got haters, Becca. It's amazing. I mean, I just go out and have fun and catch fish and share with the world what I'm doing. And they some weirdos. I've told you about Psycho Steve, uh, who's blown me up in the comments, email, through eBay. I've blocked him about everywhere. He keeps popping up. Every time I think he's gone for good, he pops up. And then, uh, of course, the person who solicited me for sex over the weekend for 69 cents. And the worst part about it, he sent me 69 cents, right, through PayPal? He didn't send it friend to friend. He just sent a PayPal payment. So PayPal took their cut, and they do 30 cents and like 3% or something. I ended up getting like 18 cents out of it. I couldn't even, I mean, that's more, that's a bigger cut than what a pimp would take if I had actually been out soliciting for sex. Insane. So yeah, and, and too, when he didn't send it friend to friend, when he just sent a normal PayPal payment, all his personal info come across, like his address and all, he'd already sent me his phone number, but uh, his address come through too. I'm like, well, that's dangerous. You know, I could really blow him up and post his name and address and all that on here. I thought about it, but then I thought better of it. There's enough drama in the catfishing world right now as it is. We got another YouTuber that's just cutting me down every chance he gets. So that's how people are. I just keep doing my thing, having fun. And the more successful I am, the more these people, the more it just it, it sparks their fire. <laughs> Where'd I go? Man, I've got a lot of comments. I can't see where I left off at. There's Matt Holichek. He says, hey, brother, just to clear this up, I sent you a PayPal's message, but it was about Tennessee and not the fish fetishes. <laughs> and that's another thing, y'all, with these PayPal messages. So normally when people send me a PayPal donation, I try to click on their email and respond and to send them a personalized thank you. And so a lot of people's PayPal, their email address don't show up anymore, depending on how they send the payment it'll just show up like a message feature. And I send them a message, but I don't know if they get it and I don't get any notifications if they message me back. So if you've sent me a PayPal payment and I didn't send an email to you, it's probably in that message thing there on PayPal because I promise you I have responded to anybody who's who sent me a PayPal message or a PayPal payment. I don't want you to think I'm just ignoring you. There's Curtis Large, 499. Thank you, Curtis. He says, just wanted to say, hey, glad to see you had a live stream today. Hope you get a golly whopper. Thank you, Curtis. We're going to get something big or nothing at all tonight. Could go either way. I'm leaning toward nothing at all, but like I told you a few weeks ago, I'm going to use these live streams as an opportunity to fish places that I view as big fish or bust opportunities. Because if I go out and I film a regular video out here tonight and it's a bust, I don't get any content. I'm not earning a paycheck that day, just keeping it real with you. Whereas I come on here on a live stream, even if we don't catch any fish, I swing and I miss, we're still hanging out, we're having a good time, I'm chatting with you all, it, it passes time for me while I'm not catching fish, and uh, I get to know you all a little better, you get to know me better, so uh, you know, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it tonight. I'm gonna fish till about nine or 10, and, and uh, if we get some fish working through, great. If not, well, we'll try again another time. <laughs> Hopefully after I get this cell phone booster or possibly get a, you know, another cell phone service later on when iPhones come back in stock, we can set up where I'd really like to set up back in farther in this creek where I can position my baits better to take advantage of any fish that are working in and out here. I kind of need the fish to be swimming through where I'm at, but back there, it don't matter where they go through, I can position baits in front of them, so. <clears throat> Man, really, we got 570 people watching. Crazy, man. Y'all, I'm sorry. I just, I'm having to scroll through a lot of these comments because I've just, there's too many coming in for me to get to everybody, unfortunately. <laughs> and Cody Yakfishing says, thanks, Nikki. What are my responsibilities? As a moderator, just block the haters, man. That's it. Or answer questions that you know the answers to that I may not see or be able to get to. Joey Chris says, how strong are the catfish sumo rods? I might get one for my birthday in a few weeks. They're pretty strong, man. I haven't broken one. Um, I'm rocking the 2.0 Master Series here tonight. I really like these. They're a 
a rod with a good backbone, but still light enough tip action that you can enjoy fish that are, you know, 10, 15 pound range. Still got the backbone, you know, to, to handle big fish when you get them. Now he makes another rod called the Elite 150. I've got a couple of those, use them on Nickajack. Those are a heavy action rod. They can deadlift 150 pounds. You ain't breaking them things, but they are a stiffer action rod. So when you catch smaller fish, 10, 15 pound range, not as much fun to catch fish on, in my opinion. Those are, those are trophy fishing rods. And then if you've got like channel cats or smaller catfish you're going after, he makes the original chopstick rod. Good quality rod, just lighter action for the smaller fish. So I've had good experience with his gear so far. <clears throat> Thank you for the question, by the way. Let me scroll up, make sure I didn't miss a super chat, but I do have a new member. Let me see if I can just click. I do, there it pops right up. How about that? William Apple joined the Catfish Club. Heck yeah. Thanks, William. I'm glad to have you, buddy. William's already hit me up with Super Chat tonight. Now he's in the Catfish Club. Jeremy Bracey says, how did you do Friday? He's a Catfish Club member. We did good, man. We went live Friday for, I think, under three hours, just under three hours, Mark and I did, and caught a bunch of skipjack. And then we got them so quickly, we were like, well, we're already out here. Let's just, let's just troll out of that creek and see if we can catch some fish. And caught three blues on the way back out. And so uh, it, was a, it was a productive trip. Filled my freezer back up. Chris Begley says, I was the highest bidder on your rod on eBay when you mentioned it. It blew up on bids. Hey, man, that's awesome. I, I can't look at it right now while I'm live. I'm live on my phone. So uh, I'm curious to see. I didn't know how much them things were going to go for. You know, this, I'd listed those hooks that were used in, in videos. I catch a big fish or something. I'd do a picture, autograph it, frame it, and all that. And I did that. And, you know, I caught some flack for it, but I had a lot of positive responses and those hooks went very surprising how much those went for and so you know that kind of stuff's good for me i mean it's just another way it's another income stream you know especially right now as youtube views kind of decline for fall and winter so i'm very appreciative of all of you who, who support me in that manner walter pearson says he's a catfish club member says have you sold the cat max reel yet and do you plan on selling the catfish sumo reels that you just got but don't care for it. So the Catmax reel I actually listed on eBay. It'll end on Sunday because the person never followed through. They said they wanted it, they never paid, and they don't respond to emails. So I put it on eBay. Um, the Catfish Sumo reels I'm keeping. So like when I have a guest with me, somebody who's maybe another YouTuber that doesn't go catfishing, I'll have those that they can use on, on their videos and stuff. Keep them from having to buy gear. So that's the plan for those. <clears throat> Douglas says, how is your rod list? I can't find it. Go down to the video description. There's a link to eBay on there. Or you can just type in kayak catfishing on eBay on the search box and it should pull up the auctions. William says, Justin's channel is worth the commitment. Well, thank you, William. I truly appreciate that. Old Man on the Hill says, Cody, here is your Cody, here's your first question. What temperature is it where Justin is? Oh, he was asking Cody that. I'll tell you, old man on the hill. Uh, so right now, water temps have really cooled off, 63 degrees. Now, I went live out here on the same spot Tuesday night, last Tuesday night, during the full moon. We got a small flathead and a big blue. I'm wanting to say, if memory serves me, I think water temps, surface temps are like 69, I think. So we've had, a, we've had a big cool off here in the last week. Our nighttime temperatures keep dropping, and so that's cooling the water off pretty quick. Out, out Air temps out here tonight outdoors, it's in the 50s today for the highs. It's going to get down into the low 40s tonight. So uh, we had that cold front come through yesterday, and, and it's kind of dropped off the temps. So we're getting on into fall here now, it feels like. I'm, I'm bundled up. I got my hoodie on. I got a jacket here behind me. I thought about bringing my heater, but I thought I'd get too many pansy comments if I brought the heater here and it's only 40 something degrees tonight. <laughs> Boy, I got some, I got a lot of super chats coming in here. Man, where they, where'd they go? I hope I ain't missed anybody's super chat, y'all. These comments are coming fast. I got 592 people 
going through this. If I miss anybody's super chat, I am really sorry. Um, man, where'd that go? Oh, there it is. Callie back with a man. Callie loading me up tonight too. She always does. K and K fishing adventures, $15. Thank you, Callie. So sometimes I don't even have a cell signal at my house, small town, North Dakota for you. Sunset behind you looks amazing. I guess I missed it. Starting to go down now. I got to get my light set up here in just a little bit. Be uh, be too dark to see anything here before long. It gets dark earlier earlier now. And once the time change, when, when's the time change? I think not this weekend, but next weekend, it'll be dark at six o'clock then. There's too fast five dollars. Says long time lurker, first time donator. Stay warm and tight lines. Hey, thank you, too fast. I'm glad you I'm glad you donated, but more importantly, I'm glad you watch. Thank you for that. Unlimited Outdoors Midwest says he always passes my comments. Not that one, buddy. <laughs> Jason Evans says, what was your pressure job? Because your anxiety never shows. I was an ER nurse uh, for a long time, man, over a decade. So, uh, you know, once you've, once you've, you know, and there's, I'm never in there alone in the ER. You always got a team. When things go bad, you've got other nurses, respiratory, uh, doctors, techs, paramedics. You know, you got everybody in there. It's a team environment in the ER. But it is still a high pressure environment. When you got somebody's life on the line in a true emergency, there's no higher stakes than that. So, you know, when I come out here, part of the reason why I think I like having so many rods in such a confined space of the kayak and, and getting that tippy feeling in the kayak is I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie from that standpoint. I like it, you know. Uh, I hated the job working in the ER, but there's a, and it sounds terrible to say it. I don't want to, how do you say it without coming across like one of those people? It's never a good thing when things go bad in the ER, you know, when somebody's life is on the line or if, you know, somebody has died and you're trying to resuscitate them, never a good thing, but there is an adrenaline rush that goes with that. That's a, there's a level of, I don't want to call it excitement, but you're amped up a little bit. You can't replace that on anything else that you're doing out here fishing or anything else, but you can try to supplement it a little bit, I guess, by having chaos out here. And so, yeah, I don't ever get too worked up about things out here fishing because I've been in higher pressure situations throughout my career. It's weird that you notice that though. That's odd. <clears throat> I think that's kind of one of the things too, like how I can talk while I've got stuff going on and, and reeling in fish and stuff because, you know, in the ER, you're busy. You know, when I go in, I'm starting an IV, I'm giving meds, etc. I'm talking to the patient, I'm interacting, I'm doing the assessment, I'm I'm getting their story. I'm getting other stuff. I'm multitasking. I'm getting other stuff done while I'm doing the task at hand. And so I kind of incorporate that, I think, into these videos a little bit by being able to communicate while I have stuff going on. And then two, I think the teaching aspect, because teaching on YouTube's a, a big part of my channel growth. I try to teach people the little bit that I know. I try to share that knowledge. And in the ER, do a lot of patient teaching. You know, I'm, I'm dealing with patients who are sick, injured and you're trying to speak clearly and concise to get them to understand what you're saying in their time of need, in their time of stress, where they're not going to be able to retain a lot of information just from what they've got going on. So I think a lot of that kind of carries over to my videos and has helped me be successful with it. But again, very weird that you picked up on that. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. And I'm sorry y'all, that comment box keeps scrolling. Hey, my girl Sandra, Sandra Hillary in the house with a big donation, $100. Thank you, Sandra. Says, let's catch some golly whoppers. Sandra, I hope we do. Sandra's another one, Catfish Club member, huge supporter of my channel. Been with me a long time on here, always donates, and a big reason I'm able to keep this channel going. So thank you, Sandra. It is greatly appreciated. Sandra's down there in Florida, and I am jealous of your weather right now. <laughs> Mm. 
My God, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to scroll on down here to hit this next super chat. I've missed a bunch of comments in between. They just keep coming. I'm going to get to as many as I can tonight, I promise you. <clears throat> Michael Barron, $10. Thank you, Michael. He says, hey, Justin, do you find yourself fishing deeper channels or shallower flats as the water cools? Do the flatheads turn off as it gets colder? So a couple good questions there, Michael. Um, first off, me... You know, I like fishing deep and I like fishing deep all the time. That's my comfort zone and there's never a bad time to fish deep. Now, when it comes to fishing flats, I don't generally fish a lot of flats for the simple fact it doesn't really suit my wheelhouse. When fish are up there on the, fat, the flats feeding, they spread out. They could go anywhere. They're chasing bait. And when you see me fishing, oftentimes I like suspending baits. I like fishing the spot on the spot. I try to put my baits exactly where fish are going to be working through or where they're going to hold at. So fishing up on the flats don't really, uh, it just don't suit me. If I'm dragging baits, if I'm drifting, I can hit the flats occasionally, but it's not something I like to do. So I prefer deeper channels, but both have their time and place. And it just kind of depends on how you like to fish uh, as to what's going to be most effective for you. Both will hold fish this time of year. Uh, your second part of the question there, do flatheads turn off as it gets colder? Yes and no. So right now it's starting to get a little colder here, but the flathead bite's actually turning on because they're feeding up for winter right now. So the flathead bite gets really good in the fall. And then once it gets really cold, they'll kind of, they'll kind of shut down. Now here in Tennessee, we're fortunate. Our water temps never really get cold enough to completely shut them down dormant like they do up north. Here, a really cold winter, we'll hit the low 40s on water temps usually. So, and, and usually even it doesn't last very long. Most of the time we're mid to high 40s in the coldest part of winter. So the bite slows, but every, every winter I'll still catch flatheads sporadically. It happens. So they're not completely dormant and shut down here. But right now is a good time to catch flatheads. I've caught several here recently. It's been a, it's a good time period to catch your flats. That was a really good question, Michael. <clears throat> Fracture Fix, 1999. Thank you, sir. Says, rip some lips. Hope Melton Hill treats you good tonight. Be safe. Here's the Chinese food on the way home. Thank you, Fracture Fix. I actually, um, I appreciate that. It won't be Chinese food I'm eating tonight. I've learned this lesson the hard way. You don't go to the China King Buffet right before they close. It's good food but not at quitting time. It'll, uh, you'll have a long night <laughs> if you do. So thank you for that. I will definitely get some dinner on the way home, uh, but it won't be China King Buffet tonight. <laughs> now, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be sniffling y'all tonight this cooler weather. <clears throat> Fizz Bang, hit me with a bang, $25. Thank you, Fizz Bang says, you're great from Rhonda and I. Well, thank you. I, thank you and Rhonda. Mostly thank Rhonda because I know she's the one that approves the, the finance in there in that household, I'm sure. So thank you so much, Rhonda. Glad to have you in here tonight. <clears throat> Let me scroll on down. I think I, again, I apologize. Them comments were scrolling there, y'all. If I've missed anybody's super chat, first off, I'm grateful for it and I'm sorry I missed you. Let me know if I did and I'll and I'll try to shout you out later on in the video. Everybody else, I'm gonna get to as many comments as these as I can tonight. Mike Turner 7112 says, Papa T, happy birthday. I guess it's I guess it's Papa T's birthday. Have a good one, man. Glad you're spending it watching me. Sandra Hillary says, Roses are red, violets are blue. Come on, Justin. Let's catch them catfish two by two. I hope we do, Sandra. We could get skunked tonight. Yeah, I said that last time out here. Melton Hill, this place during the fall, I've had some big fish days. I've also had some skunk trips. Last time out, it was a slow bite. We got two fish for the duration, but that one was a dang good blue. So we out here tonight, same story. We may get skunked, we may get a big one. We ain't gonna catch 10 fish out here. It ain't gonna be 15 fish. I ain't gonna be that kind of night. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a a one or two, three fish night probably. And uh, if we get any, but if we do, it's probably gonna be good quality. Old man on the hill says, I can't believe there are 10 thumbs down. Give it time, man. There'll be much more than that. 
Charles Lloyd says, give my wife Cupcake a shout out. There you go, Cupcake. <clears throat> Sunfish Assassin, $5. Thank you, buddy. Says, I'm just a poor boy from Georgia, so here's five bucks. Love your content. Hey, man, I'm thankful for every penny I get, so thank you for that. It means a lot to me. It truly does. I'm grateful for all of it. Most importantly, I'm grateful that you watch. Sunfish Assassin's been with me a long time. He's got a YouTube channel. Uh, Y'all check it out there. But every time I go live, Sunfish Assassin's in here, watches my regular videos, so I'm grateful, man. Real Life Outdoors, $5, says, let's go, Brandon. Okay. You go, Brandon. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Crowbar Jones says, I lost the chats I get. I don't know, man. I've lost a bunch of chats here, too. Bud Brutus, 1999. Thank you, Bud. No comment from Bud there. I know he's got something to say, but he always, he's another big supporter of this channel. Always hits me up, usually with several donations through it. Thank you, Bud. Everybody's saying, let's go, Brandon. I've missed something. Jersey Boy Fishing's back again with $20. Thank you, Jersey Boy. He says, you deserve to make it huge on here. You're by far the best and most real channel on YouTube. You put your time in for every single fish, bro. Hope you catch 50 tonight, tight lines and smooth drags. You'd be a great guide, bro. Well, thank you, Jersey Boy. I appreciate you saying that. That's a, that's a very nice compliment. I... You know, I try to be real on here. At the same time, I got people saying that I'm not real, that I don't post the bad trips. And I generally don't, you know, because well, if I'm posting an edited video, I want it to be entertaining because if I'm getting first-time viewers, I want them to subscribe and come back. So, yeah. But when you go live, it's as real as it gets. When you set that time frame, well, I said it, you know, earlier here for 6 p.m. tonight, I'll come out here. I ain't on the fish. I, I ain't on a bite. It's just going to be what it is, and it don't get more real. We could get skunked tonight. It's a possibility. So that's about as real as you can get. All them people that's knocking me saying I ain't real. I'm out here live at least once or twice a week now, so we just go with it. Holla check, Man, Matt. Are you hit me up again, y'all. $49.99. Thank you, Matt. He says, headed out to work for the night, bud, and everyone enjoy your night. If y'all want to get your comments on the show, then purchase a Super Chat, pay what you can, and support the channel. Thank you, Matt. I'm, I, that, I appreciate that. Y'all, Matt's a, a, an officer, police officer up in New York, so he's got a real dangerous job. And uh, thanks for what you do, Matt. Uh, he's a former uh, military veteran also. So Matt has been serving and protecting his whole career. So, happy to have him on my channel. We got another Catfish Club member. Noah V has joined the Catfish Club. Thank you, Noah. Glad to have you, buddy, man. Glad to have you be a part of the club. Eventually, y'all, eventually, if we get enough club members, we're going to take this channel private at some point uh, for at least the live streams. Anyway, that's my goal. I'm not trying to get I want to do well on YouTube. I want to make as much money as I can. But I ain't trying to be the next Guggen Squad either. You know, I ain't, I ain't trying to do that. I want a, I want a solid core audience, like-minded people, positive people, a community. And if I, can, if I can make a nice living just doing content for those people, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if we'll get there. Probably won't. My channel will probably die off before then, but that's the, that's the end game goal for me. Hey, Billy Hamilton's in the house. Says, I'm here just a little bit down. I had dinner last night and did some damage to my truck. Billy, man, I'm sorry, man. Uh, Y'all, Billy Hamilton, he's a truck driver. Uh, biggest supporter of my channel that I have. Uh, he's hit me up with more money than anybody. And uh, man, I'm sorry to hear that, Billy. I hope you're okay. Uh, I hope you didn't get hurt in the accident. He said I had a dinner last night. I think he... Probably meant he had a, he may be typo there. He may have had an accident or something. I hope not, man. Bill, I'm sorry about that, man. That's too bad. Everybody's talking about Brandon. I don't know what the hell is going on, Brandon. Brandon got something going on. Go, Brandon. <laughs> Chunky Cat's in the house. Glad to have you, Chunky. 
fishing with Steve Mosley's in here. James Moore, $5. Thank you, James. It says, been a while, Justin. Glad to see you're doing good. Hope you catch a big one tonight. Thank you, James. Glad to have you, buddy. Appreciate that super chat. Oh, there's Billy. He said, I hit a deer with my truck. This more too, eh? Man, that sucks, Billy. I can do a lot of damage. Man, I hope you're okay. That's the main thing. Trucks can be fixed, but you on the other hand. I saw a deer the other day. I put in down there at Kingston for the bass tournament. And I come in, loading up the kayak. There was a baby deer, had broken legs down there. He was trying to run away, but you know, he was, had the gimp legs. I was like, dang, man, that sucks. Somebody had probably hit it. In Billy Hamilton's case, he's driving a, a big truck. I don't, I don't think the deer knew what hit him. <laughs> hey, my man, Keith Hensley, $5. Used to work with Keith back in the day, known him about 20 years now. He says, hi, Justin. How about a shout out to my wife and youngest child who are in the room with me, but taking a nap? Let's go Brandon equal FJB pretty much. I don't know what you mean there, Keith. There's code language there, but uh, shout out to your wife and youngest child who unfortunately, I don't know their names, Keith. I see you talking about your wife there on Facebook. I see your pictures and stuff, but I, I probably know her name. I'm terrible with names, Keith. I'm sorry. And I don't know your, your smallest child's. Gosh, I hate that, Keith. I want to give him a shout out though, Keith. Thank you for that super chat. Real Life Outdoors, $5, says, let's go, Brandon. I have still, I have no idea what that means. <clears throat> There's Billy, he says, thank you, Sandra. I'm okay, got my truck fixed and most of the damage, but got some body work to do yet. Okay, well, good. Hopefully they get you back on the road soon again, Billy, man. I know that's, you know, Billy being a truck driver, kind of like me being out in the water not getting content you know downtime is days he ain't he ain't earning you know so i hope they get you back driving again soon billy cody yak fishing says let's go brandon is slang for F oh man listen y'all i'm very appreciative of the super chats and all but let's keep the politics off my channel all right no good comes from that it don't matter what side of the aisle you're on don't get me, y'all like my channel? You want to keep me watching or keep me doing this? Keep the politics off here. You'll just, you'll get me canceled on here. That's a good way to do it. Y'all know how YouTube is with the political stuff. So keep that crap off the, the channel. I see any more of that, I'm blocking you. It's too big a risk for me. I can't risk my business over y'all's political beliefs. And I don't care whether I agree with your political beliefs or not. It's just too big a risk for me. <clears throat> Thanks for letting me know, Cody. I'm glad to know what that is. Tina Lloyd says, please shout out to Michael Murray and Tina Lloyd. First time on live chat. Well, there you go. There's your shout out. Jersey Boy Fishing, $1. Well, thank you, Jersey Boy. He's hit me up numerous times already. Daniel Creech says, how do you know how much a pimp takes? I worked ER, man. I've dealt with a lot of a lot of hookers that come in the ER. <laughs> I've heard some stories from them. Yeah, there's Becca talking about the Brandon's political thing. Yeah, again, y'all. I don't care how much money you give me. If you put my channel or my business at risk, you're gone. That's just how it is. I got a zero tolerance policy for anybody that's potentially going to damage my business. So it is what it is, what's happened before this point. But from this point on, I've, I've set the bar. I got a lot of moderators in here that's got my back. Y'all want politics? Go to Facebook. It's full of it. That's why I hate Facebook. Dry Ice Gaming 499 says, thoughts on Morgan Wallen? I don't know. Is that the country singer or the race car driver? I've heard of him. I think he said something controversial. Thanks for the super chat. I ain't doing nothing controversial. Boy, we got people getting hidden and deleted. Yeah. It is what it is, man. 
we'll eventually turn this thing on members only. That'll be the only people who, who chat. I'll tell you again, y'all, my audience, I'm not, I'm not looking to be the Guggen squad. Quality over quantity. I don't care if I got, I need a thousand people to keep myself monetized. Everybody else is expendable. So you get out of line, you're gone. <laughs> That's how it is. Well, we got Real Life Outdoors $5. Says, Let's go, Justin. Thank you, man. Thank you for the super chat. We got Jesse Tenorio, super or catfish club member, said I would love to go fishing with you, Justin, but I couldn't get my kayak, couldn't get in a kayak. My right leg is paralyzed with a brace on it, and I shared my left ankle. I think you mean shattered left ankle about four months ago, and had to have surgery on it. I hope your recovery is going well, Jesse. That's some that's some bad injuries, man. I, I hate that you're going through that. That's terrible, man. <clears throat> Cody Yak Fishing says, Country Singer said a racist thing. I must have been that Morgan Wallen guy. Yeah, again, I don't care how much money. Go ahead and give me the money and put your comment in there. That's fine, but I ain't going to gonna touch that stuff. We're about fishing on this channel. Not about catching tonight, but we're about fishing. I just don't do that stuff. There's plenty of other YouTubers for that. <clears throat> I'm about having fun, catching fish, and making some coin on here. There's Fracture Fix, 1999. So there are several people asking how to join the club. Well, thank you, Fracture Fix, and thank you for the super chat. Uh, to join the club, there's a link in the video description. And what that does is it makes you a Catfish Club member. So these people you see in the chat box have that icon next to their name. That just helps me when the, when the chat box is scrolling like it is to now. We got 605 people in here. I'm not going to get to everybody's comment, but what I do, I look for the super chats because they're lit up and these people are paying me money. So their comment gets acknowledged first. Then I start looking for my catfish club members. They're going to be acknowledged next. And then I go to everybody else. So it kind of gives you priority on the, on the chat box. The second thing is, is it gives you discounts to catfish sumo. You get 15%. And then also on my merchandise, the shopkayakcatfish.com, there's a, there's a discount code for that. But mostly it's just, it's, there's not really much I can offer you other than content. It's a way for people to support my channel. So if you're interested in helping support me, great, thanks. I'm happy to have you. But there's a link down in the video description there. And I think we had another member pop up. Let me see where it went. I did, Sunfish Assassin. Hey, you just give me some super chats tonight. He's always watching. Now he's joined the club. Well, glad to have you, man. That's awesome. Cody Yak Fishing says, Curtis Large just got my badge, still learning the ropes. There's Curtis Large. He's telling people for me how to, how to uh, join the club. Thank you, Curtis. That's another great thing about the Catfish Club members is that people who are members of the Catfish Club are generally people who watch me all the time and those, they're very helpful because all these people that are asking questions and stuff that maybe I don't get to or maybe I overlook, my Catfish Club members can oftentimes answer those questions for you and get you the info that you're, that you're seeking, even if I miss the question. So glad to have you all. They all are a big help to me. Pro moderator's in the house. I've seen him pop up somewhere there. We got... Let me hit that other one there. Where'd it go? Hooks and hammocks. Chris in the house. He says, hope your tournament went well this weekend. Shout out. Fishing with Big Mike. Let's help him hit 1,000. Yeah, man. I didn't do particularly well in the tournament, but I caught enough fish to get seventh place. And uh, so I got a little bit of money and a, and a nice prize pack. Hope your tournament went well too, man. I wish I could have tuned in and, and rooted for you there in the chat box. Hooks and hammocks fished a tournament on YouTube this weekend. And he had sent me the link and I would have gladly got on there at some point and chatted with him, but I was out there doing the, doing the bass fishing thing. And again, uh, shout out Big Mike, fishing with Big Mike. He's got a uh, catfishing, if I can get my words out, he's got a catfishing channel. He fishes down on Nick Jack, catches some good fish down there. His channel, his YouTube channel is really close to hitting a thousand subscribers, which will get him monetized. And so anybody that likes catfishing content, go check him out get him over the hump and so he can start earning some money down there. I hope he hits it soon. He's in my chat box all the time. There's Bud back, 1999. 
He says, always here for the conversation and scenery. No fish tonight doesn't matter to me. Enjoy being a part of your live stream. Well, Bud, I enjoy you being part of the stream too. Bud's another person, watches, always positive, and makes this live streaming fun. Even like right now when I'm not catching no fish. Joe Murray says, I think you overlook a lot of people. I do. Yeah, we've got 591 people watching. I'm one man. You can only get to so many comments and it's America, buddy. You bet your ass. If somebody's giving me money, they getting acknowledged. That's America. We got a lot of people getting hidden. A lot of this politics stuff, we probably got some, again, I've had a YouTuber just raking me over the coals all week. So uh, I already had to block some people on Facebook before I went live tonight. People trashing me on there. So it, it, they's probably going to be, my moderator's going to be working overtime tonight. They earning the paycheck that I don't give them tonight. <laughs> Wayne Hoska says, are you sure you have bait on your hooks? Yeah, we ain't been hit yet. So I'm confident we got bait on here. Lake Sam Rayburn, Crappie King says, he doesn't overlook people. You try and keep up with 600 people watching. Yeah, it ain't easy, man. I'm fortunate that I got this many people watching, but the chat box is a little overwhelming. And when I had my pro moderator there, Eric Thompson, he's watching. For a while, he was going live with me and reading the comments off and stuff. And people were just attacking him left and right. I had people going up to CNC Outdoors, talking to Holly Tridell, complaining about him. And I'm like, you know, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna walk on my friends. You know, you ain't gonna talk crap about them. So, you know, it just is what it is. I'm a one man show out here. We'll get to as many as we can. Les Leach says, can you show us how to throw a cast net off the kayak? Yeah, man, I've got videos on it on my channel. Just type in search box like kayak catfish cast netting. It'll pull up the box, it'll pull up the video. Joe Murray, simple question, has he fished the Ohio River? Yeah, no, I haven't. I do get asked every video, so uh, yeah. Oh, we got a lot of people still getting. Cody Yak fishing so many haters. Yeah, Jersey Boy fishing says haters make you famous, Justin. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I'm gonna get a lot more because I got a guy that used to be a friend of mine. I thought he was a friend, uh, just blasting me about every other day now. It seems like I'm getting screenshotted messages and Facebook posts and rants and stuff. So, you know, he's looking for attention. He wants me to respond and send a bunch of people to his channel. And, you know, it's unfortunate because again, I thought I was friends with the guy. I thought him and I were cool. And, you know, apparently we weren't. Apparently he's got a problem with me. And instead of reaching out to me directly, he goes on Facebook and makes a fool of himself. And for his demographic his audience then they start piling on me and so it is what it is we're gonna have some haters tonight but i got awesome moderators and i don't care i don't care how many people we block we'll block every damn one of them <laughs> i've missed some more super chats here y'all let's make some more people mad with me overlooking comments to get to the super chats sean heath five dollars says hey i'm late again what i miss out on justin not much um I've been live for an hour, dropped baits after I went live. We got some fish right there, it looks like, messing with my baits, around my baits, but ain't nothing hit yet. And uh, so you ain't really missed nothing yet. I'm about to set my light up. It's getting hard to see myself on the screen there. But no, other than that, we just been blocking haters and political posts. We got... Where'd it go? Wayne Hos Hoska? Hoska? Every time I mess up your name, Wayne, I don't know why I can't ever remember how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry, Wayne. He says, God bless America and the catfish family. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you for being positive. And thank you for the super chat. Justin Statham says, who are you rooting for in the World Series? Well, my girlfriend's a big Dodgers fan and the Braves just knocked them out. So I get, and well, I don't know, because she hates Houston too. I think we're just rooting for the World Series to be canceled. <laughs> Billy Martin, $5. Thank you, Billy. He says, hope a big fish comes along and eats your baits. Me too, Billy. Thank you for that super chat. I hope we get some big ones. 
Cali K and K Fishing Adventures. There's no way to catch every content, no way to catch every comment. Pol politics ruin friendships. We're all human before anything else. Want to comment red, be respectful and donate. Absolutely. And thank you so much for saying that, Callie. That's why Callie's one of my moderators right there, because she's she her and I, we on the same wavelength. We get each other. Douglas Medlin, five dollars, says, got my blue sky 360. Works great since the seat is higher like a boat. So when you can't use the kayak, there is an alternative. Yeah, those blue skies, man. I've never been in one. Thank you for that content cash there, Douglas. Um, they look very comfortable. I've never been in one, but they do set up higher and look look like they're amazing. Kelly says five dollars. Don't forget your light. Let's do that right now, Kelly. Let me get my camera turned around here. We got to get that light plugged in. We're not gonna see a daggone thing if we do catch a fish without this light. Bear with me a second here, y'all, while we get this thing set up. I'm going to. If I hadn't been running late getting out here, if I was a live streamer that was worth a crap, I would have already been set this set this light up and been ready to go. But oh guys, right here, right here, we got a rod in the water. Oh man, we got a rod in the water. Holy cow! Holy cow! We got a rod in the water. Can y'all see it? I hope you can see it. That feels good too, man. That feels like a good fish. I hope you all can see it. Dang, man, I need that light set up. We're gonna get this fish up here to the surface and then I'll get that light set up before we land him. That feels good, man. That's on a skipjack body chunk. It feels good. It's rolling, it's a blue. Man, it's pulling some drag. I hope you all can see that. God dang it. Why'd I let it get so dark before I set the light up? Right now, we kind of hear it to witching hour right here as it's just getting dark. So now's a good time to be catching some fish working through here. Again, for those of you tuned in late, I'm on Melton Hill tonight. Not known for its catfish, but I have been fortunate to catch some big ones. And this time of year, they tend to move into the creeks. I'm set up in a creek tonight. And not ideally where I'd like to be in this creek because of poor cell phone service, but we're clearly in position. We've got one here tonight. I fished the same spot on the live stream last week and caught a dang nice blue. And I'm, I think this is gonna be a good one too. He's got my back line. He's got our live bait rod. I hope he didn't knock the live bait off. We only got one live bait. Yeah, that's a nice blue. That's a nice blue. Y'all can't see a daggone thing. Let me just give him a little slack and set him in the rod holder and get my light set up. Boy, I have, I have done a lousy job out here tonight, y'all. Thankfully, I got some really good people here that are used to my screw-ups on the live streams. I guess I got to plug my cord in here to the light. <laughs> we'll get it directly here, y'all. It's coming. Okay. Now this light's got a 12 volt plug in. And I have a battery box and hopefully I turn this thing on and we have light. All right, now let's position this light a little higher up. I think that'll probably be high enough. We'll see here in a second. Anyway, y'all, there's that big fish. That's a dang nice blue. And he's running laps around that back line. <laughs> what do you think, y'all? Can you see me? You can still see me. Heck yeah. I don't know if you saw the fight, but that's a dang good fish. Let me get my camera mount now. That's another thing I forgot to put up. Good golly, y'all. Bear with me. All right. I got a DIY job here, PVC that I've built, to be able to hold my phone 
and get some front camera shots while I'm live. All right. Let's turn it around that way. Y'all, I'm telling you, we'll get it directly. <laughs> get my glove here. I hope this live bait's still on this back rod. He is all tangled up in that line. I hope he didn't knock it off because we got one. But either way, I got a whole cooler full of skipjack. I went out this morning and took a while to get them. I think the cold front had them shut down. But uh, I got enough to... I had enough. I gave some to a guy that was a fan of my channel. He was at the dock when I got back fishing. And so I gave him some and still had plenty for us tonight so it's a good fish it's a good fish oh man melton hill buddy melton hill lake not known for its catfish but every year i stick a few i get skunked a lot but i'll stick a few big fish we got one on last week's live stream this one here let me get him out of all these lines there we go. Let me set that back, flip that back over. It's a good fish, man. Dang light, man. Uh-oh, y'all, uh-oh. This rod over here's got a fish on too. It's going down. We're gonna wait on that one. Let's hold this one up first. Oh, there we go, man. Oh. <laughs> Dang nice Melton Hill Blue Cat, man can't half see it because my light has spun around backwards man i got technical difficulties y'all you can see it good enough i think Whew. happy to get this fish y'all again I, I come out here saying big fish or buffed we're either going to get one like this or bigger or we're going to get skunked tonight you know that's just how it goes that's melting hill for you but we got our big one let me uh i'm just going to throw him on my board here and we'll flip the camera, flip the light around maybe. And I'll show you here. There. Nice blue, man. That fish, just shy of 41 and a half inches. Big girth there. Man, I'm happy with that fish. I'm not happy with my light to keep spinning around. But I'm happy with that fish. Heck yeah, man. We got another one that was on that rod. I don't know if he still is or not. Whoo. Callie, thanks for telling me to set up my light. I wish I'd listened to you a little sooner. We'd have caught that whole thing on, the whole fight on the camera. All right, guys, there he is. One last look. How many people's watching right now? 600 and something. Awesome. Okay. See ya, buddy. Whoo, he gone. Well, let me reel in this other one. He's still on. Oh, man. Y'all tell me. I guess with my light messed up here for a minute, I'm just going to keep the camera up there while I reel in this fish. You can't really see the rod bend from this angle, but this one here ain't gonna be very big. This one ate a headpiece, the other one was a skipjack midsection. Those of you tuning in, I got three rods baited with skipjack. I had a live bluegill on this rod. It's a danged old channel cat. This lake's full of them. Melton Hill is a reservoir on the Clinch River. Where I'm at tonight, there ain't gonna be no current. And you get, oh, he gone. We didn't want to see that in any way. It was a small channel cat. We got our bait back. Good. We don't want no channel cats, this, but this place has a lot of a lot of channels. The blues here aren't as in good of numbers, but when you get one, it's a good fish. Flatheads, a lot of flatheads in here. May get some tonight, possibly. Got one last week out here. Let me get uh, get my line situated here. I'm gonna 
rebate on this rod. And then uh, I'm gonna reel this other one in, I guess, and check it. And fingers crossed that bluegill's still on there. I just wanted a variety tonight. You know, I wanted to have some live bait options just, to, just in case. But didn't get out here in enough time to really do it. Got one bluegill and then I had a smallmouth bass wrap my jig around a tree and I didn't have time to retie and catch some more and do all that before I had to go live at six. So if I was a more punctual person, we'd have had us some live bait tonight. <laughs> Well, that fish had me all wrapped up, didn't he? I'm still a little bit wrapped up here. Let me get this one final tangle and I think we'll be back in business. Man, I'm pumped up over that fish, y'all. I am pumped up about it. That was a dang nice fish. He was a heck of a fight that most of you probably couldn't see because of the lighting, but dang good time. Okay, let me just reel in this other rod here first. Just see about that bluegill. He got in that line pretty quickly into the fight, so he may have knocked it off. No, no he didn't. He's still on there, we got him. Go do us proud, bluegill. Go do us proud down there. That wind's getting a little chilly. If y'all see me, you probably can't see me moving around there because it's dark, but that wind's got me all. Got the spot lock on the motor moving every which way. All right, let me bust out another skipjack here. We'll get a, another skip on with a, you know me, I kind of like the skipjack about the first half of it. The head and the first, just behind the dorsal fin, really. So, that big blue, though, ate the smaller section. I had, um, for those of you tuned in right from the start, I mixed up the sizes of my baits. I got a big head piece, I got a larger chunk, and I had a smaller chunk of skipjack, and that's what that big blue ate, was the smaller chunk. So we'll put another smaller piece on, and of course, again, we got the live bait. I'm just kind of offer. If I got a variety of bait, I like to offer them options. And if I got the same bait, like a lot of times, you know, aside from that bluegill, I got skipjacks, the only other cut bait I can get. I still like to mix it up, the, the, the heads versus the midsection, different sizes. It's always good to give fish options. All right, bear with me. Y'all just take a look at that nice hat while I cut this bait up. That's a dang good looking hat, ain't it? You can get those at catfishsumo.com. Code word kayak will get you 10% off your order. For Catfish Club members, if you go to the community tab on my YouTube channel, there's a discount code link for you to get you 15% off your order. How do you like that? I worked in some advertisements on there. I'm getting good at this YouTube thing. All right, here goes us another bait down. But you see, that's kind of a narrow chunk. I could even cut out the gut pocket, but that's just gonna give us extra scent. So we'll leave it on there. Just a little bit smaller profile bait. So I got snot coming out my nose. Gonna be a lot of that tonight, y'all. Sorry. It's a little chilly out here tonight. Air temps ain't too bad, it's the wind. That's what gets you. Okay. Well, I think we've got our lines reset. So we got a big blue, we got a channel cat that don't count. I reeled him up here to the surface. We don't care about him. So we're off to a good start tonight here, y'all. Got that blue right here at the witching hour. It just gotten dark enough that I needed the light. And that's when he hit. He's working into this creek, obviously. And uh, this creek, I. I'd give anything to have good enough cell phone service to set up back here where I want to. But we're making it work out here. You know, this I, I fished it 
tonight and then last Tuesday night. And we've got a big blue on each trip. So my night's made at this point. My night would really be made if I get this damn light to go where I want it to go. Let me tinker with this light a minute, y'all. I'm on. I promise I'm on get this stuff straightened out before it's over. I think it's in position. We have light. Let there be light, he says. Oh, okay. Was that rod getting hit or did I imagine things? Maybe I imagined things. Man, how many comments and Super chats that I missed. We got 705 people watching. Man, that's crazy. Boy, I've missed a bunch, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm going to scroll up and hit the super chats, and then I'm going on down. And Sorry, man, I'm scrolling a long ways. There was a lot of comments that I missed there. Let me go back. I was talking to Callie. Callie gave me a super chat and said... Put your light up, Justin. Oh crap, I can't even go back that far. There's been so many comments. All I can go back to is 7.13 p.m. on my phone. If you super chatted me before 7.13, I am so sorry. It's gone. Here's Dominic Hollis, $5, says howdy, howdy. I'm not sure what's going on, but it keeps buffering, but I wanted to let you know that we'll watch and talk to you regardless of the fish. Thank you, Dominic, I hope. I hope it's not buffering for everybody. I hope it's just you. Everybody's saying can't see. Yeah, crap. I should have had that light up. Jeff Gerald, 1999, says just in case the moon, si moon pie su supply, that's a tongue twister, is getting low. Hashtag let's go, Justin. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff bought a kayak off me uh, back in the winter, y'all. He's a good man. Yeah, everybody's saying they can't see. Dang, man, I hate y'all missing that fight. It was a good fight. He had a big bend in my rod. <clears throat> Chunky said he got plenty of lights. He can lend me some. <laughs> Chunky don't have a lighting problem. He gets lit up out there, man. He's got the best. Uh, he's got the best live streaming catfishing channel setup there is, man. He. He can, you can see him from outer space out there. Yak Nasty $5 says, how are the mosquitoes out there around this time? I'd imagine they'd calm down with the seasons changing and catch a hog, man. Well, we're gonna find out, ain't we? Uh, last week, they weren't bad. I had my uh, thermocell thing with me, never had to turn it on. Didn't bring it tonight, forgot it. So uh, hopefully we don't need it. <laughs> well, thank you for that super chat, man. Oh, I missed a bunch of super chats. I had amateur hour running up in here, reeling in a fish without a light on. It's a wonder. I still had anybody watching after that, that fiasco. Man, I lost, a, I lost my place again, y'all. I'm so sorry. There's Jack Nasty. Let me scroll on down, hit that next super chat. I got a bug landing in my mouth. Did y'all see that? Eat some bugs out here. I don't know if them mosquitoes or gnats. It's probably, it's probably healthy for me though. There's Callie, $5, says awesome fish. Must have sensed that fish was coming through. Callie, I wish I'd read your comment to set up the light right before that, because he, I was going for the light and I seen that rod go down. <laughs> Perfect timing. Pontoon Jody, $5, says just wanted to say, Jody was here, has. <laughs> Thank you for that, Jody. Yeah, Jody's Jody's doing a lot of live streaming stuff too, y'all. Check out her channel, Pontoon Jody Catfishing. She's got competitions going on, catches some big old flatheads there on Watts Bar. She's referencing Has Life. He's got a good channel too. He's got a growing channel, doing some fishing uh, out of the kayak and stuff. He's got a live streaming. He just lost his hair over a bet with Chunky a while back. So we got a lot of good content creators here in the catfish community. If you like catfishing content. They somebody to watch just about every day and night of the week. So it's a, it's a really good thing happening. Elizabella Kirkpatrick Thomas, $5 says that for that awesome beast you caught. Well, thank you, Elizabella. Thank you. I'm glad you, 
glad we got the light set up here for so you can see it. Thank you for that super chat. Dennis Brewer, $5 super sticker. Thank you. It says number one. That's awesome. Them super stickers are pretty cool. Thank you for that, Dennis. Jason Cook, $5. It says, thank you for the videos, Justin. I watch them all on the road driving. If I win the ugly stick, because you sign it for me, thanks for everything you do. Oh, absolutely, Jason. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for watching, and thank you for bidding on the rod. Uh, yeah, my plan is I'm going to get a uh, silver color Sharpie that will hopefully show up. I'm going to sign the handle of the ugly stick rod, and I'm also going to include uh, a signed picture too, just in case the rod fades or something like that. I'll do like an eight by 10 picture and I'll personalize it to whoever, to whoever wins it. Now, one thing I will say about the rod, so the auction ends on Sunday and uh, a little spoiler alert for those of you uh, watching right now, I'm planning on going over to Santee Cooper, hopefully next week. Now, kind of just waiting on a window of good weather. I'm hoping to leave on Sunday if the weather's looking good for like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I could push that trip back depending on what the wind and the weather is looking like. So if I'll go out of town on Sunday, obviously I won't be able to mail out the rod on Monday. So I'll mail it out whenever I get back for whoever ultimately wins the auction. Uh, if I'm still in town on Monday, well, I'll obviously I'll mail it out the next day there. But uh, I am hoping to go... You know, there for a while I had, you know, my dog got sick when I was planning on going to Santee Cooper. So I was dealing with that. And then I had the bass tournament here and some other commitments and stuff here at the house. All of that stuff is, is you know, over with now. So my schedule, barring any more unexpected life events, my schedule's kind of opened back up for me to do some of these trips that I had planned on doing. So hopefully within the next week or two, going to be going over to Santee Cooper. Uh, oh my gosh, I missed a bunch more. Fizzbang back with another five dollars. This is great fish. Wish I could get one like that. Thank you, Fizzbang. Man, it was it was a good fish to me. You know, the person that's been raking me over the coals says all the fish I catch are trash. Oh, uh, they don't compare to the fish he caught back in the 1990s. And that may very well be true. You know, I, I back in the 1990s I was playing with GI Joes and playing T-ball. I was a kid. Uh, but I don't live in the past. I don't live in the 1990s. I live in present day 2021. And when I go fishing, I'm out to have a good time. And a fish like that on the tackle I use is a dang good time. I have a blast doing it. So if it's a trash fish to some, so be it. It's a great fish to me. Ultimately, it's, uh, ultimately I'm the only one that matters as far as reeling in the fish. As long as I'm having fun, that's, that's all that matters. Same with all of you all. You know, I get people commenting all the time saying fish that I call dinks would be a personal best for them or they wish they could catch a, a, a fish a fun size or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's awesome. You know, whatever, everybody's definition of a good time is different. Everybody's definition of a big fish is different. So, you know, whatever, whatever makes you happy. We only live one time, man. Have fun and, and enjoy the fish you catch. That's what I try to do. Oh, gosh, dang it. I'm sorry, y'all. I missed a bunch more comments. Um, Timothy Carey, $5. Lost $5 to my wife, Maria. She said first fish, $7.15, and I said $7.45. Well, thank you. I guess you lost $10, technically, Timothy, because you gave your wife 5 and you gave me 5 So <laughs> poor Timothy, he's down $10 already tonight. <laughs> Cody Yak fishing $5. He says, it'd be awesome if you can send me the hook that you caught the big blue with just now. I'd like to have, to have it to remember when I became a moderator and good luck. You know what, Cody Yak fishing, why not? Message me, do something, remind me. I'll, my mind, I'll forget. Um, yeah, hit me up, man. Why not? I'll have to remember, I'll have to remember to clip it off before I, I'll have to remember to clip it off. Uh, before we leave tonight or else i'll get it confused with these others travis gentry ten dollars thank you travis he didn't leave a comment or if he did he commented after the super chat 
some people saying it's not buffering on them. I was trying to look for Travis's comment if he left one there on down in the chat. Thank you for that um, super chat there, Travis. I wish you had left a comment there with it. I'd have, I'd have answered it. I'm still reading comments from 731. I don't know what time it is now. They just keep coming. Oh, man. Okay. 737 apparently now. Okay. Whew. Y'all, I'm sorry. I missed a bunch of comments, but we had a hell of a run there. That fish took a minute to get in and then uh, had lighting issues, but we got it straightened out now. Let's see what we can do. Um, Steve says, if Santee Cooper is a reservoir, how do they have so many big fish? It's just a big body of water, man. It's huge. You get out there some places on Santee, you can't see the shore anymore. And when the wind kicks up, that's why I'm waiting closer to time before I make a decision to go because I want to see the wind report. When the wind blows over there, it's like the ocean and it's just unfishable, for, at least for me in a kayak anyway. And so I'd like to have a good, good window of weather uh, before I go over there, before I set a final date on it. But uh, yeah, at least some monsters in there. When I went over there a couple of years ago, I didn't catch a lot of fish, but the ones I caught were dang good size. Cody said he's having the night of his life. There's Cheryl says, Justin, how deep are you fishing tonight? 43 feet deep, Cheryl, so my baits are 40 to 41 feet deep. Jeffrey says, hello, Justin. Missed the first part of the stream, I guess, due to honeydews. Love this channel. Well, glad to have you, Jeffrey. <clears throat> fishing with Steve Mosley says, if he thinks the Tennessee River sucks, he should try fishing in Indiana. Yeah, that's the thing, man. I mean, these guys that talk about how fishing's went so downhill here. Yeah, I mean, compared to what it may have been in the 90s, hell, I don't know. I was a kid then. You know, it was before my time. But when you compare it now to a lot of the places that my viewers watch from, we've still got an amazing fishery here. And again, when I catch fish like I caught tonight, I'm a happy man. Uh, I go home happy. So I'm sorry, I feel sorry for these older guys that have maybe caught bigger fish in the past and can't enjoy fish like that anymore, but uh, it sucks for them. It don't suck for me. <laughs> Mike Miller says, you're gonna go live on Santee Cooper. I'm going to try, Mike. Last time over there, cell phone service was terrible. And so I don't know how that's gonna work out. If I can find a place where I can go live, I plan on it. I know Palmetto Cats goes live over there on the water. So clearly there's some areas with, with good enough cell phone service. So um, I'm gonna take that, if I can get that cell phone signal booster that's coming tomorrow, it's supposed to be, if I can get it wired up and, and if it works like it's advertised, I'm gonna take it with me. And hopefully that'll help our calls over there. There's James Dykes with $5. Thank you, James. He didn't leave a comment with it there. River Attic 499 says, do you usually have better luck with smaller baits when the water temperatures are colder? Yeah, I mean, I do River Attic when it gets real cold. Now right now our water temps here tonight, 63 degrees, you could put out a whole skipjack tonight if you wanted to and, and it, have a chance of getting eaten. Uh, but once we get on into winter and our water temps get down in the 40s and stuff, I do tend to do a little better with smaller baits. Thank you for that super chat. Both you and James there hit me up at the same time. <clears throat> Old man on the hill says, high five to all the moderators on answering questions. Yes, my moderators are the MVPs of this channel. They they truly are. If If I didn't have people willing to moderate for me, I would not go live. I have... I've had too much hate, too much negativity, too much political stuff as we've seen tonight. I wouldn't do it. Wouldn't be worthwhile. I don't care how much I'm getting paid. I ain't risking my channel over these people. <clears throat> big Hickory says, hope you catch a big flathead, man. Thank you. He's up there, New Tazewell. He's up there. I don't know how far New Tazewell is from me. Probably an hour or so. Denver Lamont says, this is awesome. I made the live. Glad to have you, Denver. There's Juan McGill answering a question for me. Thank you, Juan. Chris Jones, $5. Says, anytime there's a bite on the line, it's a good time. Let the, the haters just can't get a bite on their line. Yeah, thank you for that super chat there, Chris. 
Yeah, I have noticed some of them haters when when their channels are struggling or when they're not catching fish, that's when they tend to act out a little more. Funny coincidence. <clears throat> Miguel Watson, $5, says, caught any yet? I'm late. I'm sorry. Well, thank you, Miguel. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for the super chat. We got a big blue just a few minutes ago. Dang nice fish, uh, over 41 inches. It was a good size fish. And then we drilled, I reeled in a channel cat that had hit while I was fighting that blue and got him up the surface. He popped off. He was just a small channel though. What nothing worth showing off anyway. <clears throat> Lake Sam Rayburns is just offering some answers to questions. Don't boot me off, please. I ain't gonna boot you off, Sam Rayburn. Mm -hmm. James Pavey says, time the rods to go down. I hope so, man. Last week, we got two fish. We got a big blue and we got a small flathead. That was the only, only action we got. Now, like I said, for the new people showing up, I'm on Melton Hill Lake tonight. This is not a known cat fishery, not for, not for big blues, but there's some big ones in here. And so coming out here tonight, I knew it was going to be kind of a big fish or bust. I said it last week when I come out here, I said it again tonight. Like, there's a dang good chance we could get skunked out here tonight. But if we don't, if we get a bite, it's probably going to be a big fish. And sure as the world, first fish we get tonight, big fish. Same thing last time, big fish. So... It's just uh, right place, right time. <clears throat> Jersey boy, fishing $2? says catching is a bonus, man. The live is good enough. Thank you, Jersey boy. Appreciate your positivity and the super chat. James Dykes back with another $5. He says, big shout out to my wife, Shelly. We love watching your show. Well, thank you, James, and, and big shout out to Shelly. Thank you, Shelly, for letting James watch. And a special thank you for letting him donate some money to me. <laughs> Shelly's a good woman. You keep her, James. Don't let her go. Fat kid places, isn't it cold? I'm warmed up after reeling in that fish. We'll see. I'll cool off again here in a minute. It's going to be in the, in the 40s by the time I leave here tonight. Joey Chris says, What is the best catfish sumo rod in your opinion? My favorite is the one I'm using here, this 2.0 Master Series rod, because they're kind of a do-it-all rod. It, they're, good, they're light enough action I can enjoy smaller fish on, but they still got the backbone that I can handle the monsters. I also really like that Elite 152. If I go down to Nickajack and I'm gonna be taking them with me when I go to Santee Cooper, those are huge rods. I mean, they're very stiff. They can deadlift 150, so. I'm going to uh, take those with me because, you know, over there on Santee, there's a chance I could hook a monster. So uh, I like them both. The original chopstick model that he has, it's a good rod, but it doesn't really suit my needs as I'm just fishing for bigger fish than what it is made for. So but I think you'll be happy with whatever rod you get. And again, don't forget to use that discount code there, Kayak, on the website. Get you 10% off your order and free shipping. Got... James Cardwell says, best moderator in the business. They do a great job keeping the trolls and haters out. Hats off to all of them. Hey, me too, man. Thank you for acknowledging them. They do a great job. James, it's not in the light up there, but we got bumped. This is the one rod that's kind of behind. It's going down. It's going down. Get the camera back in the chest. Yeah, we got another one on that. Sm oh, he just let it go. He just let it go. Let me hold it here a second, see if he'll come back for it. That was the smaller piece of skipjack. Again, for those of you just tuning in, I got a big skipjack head. I've got a smaller chunk of skipjack on this rod. I've got a larger chunk of skipjack on my one of my back rods and a live bluegill on the other back rod. Let me just reel it in. He may have got the bait. Yep, strip me clean. All right, that fish robbed me out here tonight, y'all. He robbed me. He owes me a bite. He better go tell his friends to come bite my lines because that's, that's the only charity I'm giving them fish tonight. They better not be stealing no more baits from me. 
probably one of them dang old channel cats. That one channel cat had tried to steal my headpiece there when I was reeling in the big blue and somehow got himself on the hook. It was just hooked just right. He popped off there at the surface when I got him up, but he wasn't very, he wasn't big enough to be eating that bait that he had. Again, I'm just going to do a small chunk here. I think what I'm going to do, again, because that big blue, man, it ate the small bait. Let's just, let's just cut the gut pocket out of this one. I'll throw that out there. Let it chum the water a little bit for us. We ain't got no current out here. So that bait's, that gut pocket's just going to sink right down and put a little bit more scent right there around our rods. It's kind of where I'm set up here, I need these fish to just, I need to get lucky really. The channel here, the creek channel, you can see maybe there on my graph, it's so wide. I'm kind of in the middle. I need them to just kind of be passing through just right. If I was farther back on in this creek, I could set up kind of at a choke point on farther back. But uh, again, uh, the cell phone service ain't good enough back there for me to be able to maintain a live stream without buffering. So we'll try this bait see what happens i'll tell you something else while well, i still got the camera turned around and checking baits let's check this back one too it may have gotten hit while i was fighting that big blue or dealing with the channel and maybe i didn't know it i may have been ripped off on it and no nope, we're still in good shape on that bait so that's a bigger chunk right there we got options for them heads midsections different sizes and a live bait so Had that dang smallmouth bass wrap me around that tree while I was trying to catch a bluegill right before I went live to get some live baits. And I was thinking, man, that dang smallmouth, I couldn't have, I couldn't have hardly bought one of them fish on the weekend while I was in the bass tournament. <clears throat> All right, back in the game here. Back in the comments. When I go, I missed, boy, I've missed some more super chats, I think. No, nope, maybe them's all in ours. I scrolled up too far. Boy, if, I've, if I ain't scrolling up far enough, I'm scrolling up too far. <laughs> Kodiak fishing $2 says, how can I remind you and send you my address? Thank you. Um, you know, I've got that members only post there on YouTube for the Catfish Club members. Uh, just comment on that after the show. I'll see it on there. And then we can... Uh, we can coordinate on there. I don't like giving out my email to just anybody because, again, I got all these haters that blow me up. So um, comment on that post, and we'll we'll get you my email and all that. Mm -hmm. William Clary says, I think you need to throw out some fish pellets. And fish pellets would probably float. I went bluegill fishing at a... Uh, I actually went on a guided bluegill trip. There's a guy in Middle Tennessee who runs trophy bluegill ponds and offers charters on me. You know, I love me some bluegill fishing. So I'd went out there a few years ago and he had feeders set up that would shoot out some food pellets for him periodically. Now when them feeders turned on, you could throw a bait in there and they'd just hammer it, you know, but them pellets, they float on the water surface. So wouldn't do me no good fishing over 43 feet. <laughs> Uh, fat kid plays as you anchor down. I'm assuming I'm spot locked, so close enough. <clears throat> Boy, I'm sorry, y'all. I've missed a bunch of comments here. 663 people watching right now. Mike Miller says, hopefully the signal booster works. Would like to see a live on Santee. Yeah, man, I, I hope it does too. It's $500 I spent on this thing. I hope it works. I mean, yeah, I'm going to send it back if it don't, but I just, you know, it's 2021. I'd like to have some damn cell phone service anywhere I want to fish out here, you know. We pay out the high end for these cell phone bills. They talk about 5G all over these commercials on the TV. I can't even get 4G out here in a lot of places. You know, heck with 5G, I just want 4G that works. <laughs> Uh, 
Cody Yak fishing says that guy we kicked left a hater message on Justin's Facebook. Yeah, man, I blocked a couple already before I got on here. There's going to be a lot of them, unfortunately. Again, I got a YouTuber that's, you know, he's just uh, just a miserable human being, and he's been running me into the ground the last few days. And so I'm getting a lot of his audience over here just trying to cause problems. It is what it is. We'll block them when I get done with this. I'll have them blocked before I get back to the launch. <laughs> I need to add me some new moderators on my Facebook page. Every time I get one, they decide they hate Facebook and don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> we got uh, Jody, Ponting Jody says, how far are you from Melton Hill Dam? Um, not too far, Jody. I'm terrible with distances, but probably within a couple miles, I guess. Ken Yates says, how in the world do you find your way back to the car in the dark? I kind of know my way around here on this body of water, and plus I got GPS on my graph, so hard to get lost with GPS. <laughs> Just got to hope your battery don't die. That's happened to me before now. Uh, a few years back, I was fishing out at night, and uh, I didn't have the graph. I didn't have the Navionics chip on my graph back then, but I had the Navionics on my phone, and my phone died. And it was super foggy. And, and as I just kept getting turned around. I didn't think I was ever going to make it back to the car. That was a rough night. Let's see. We got Cornelius Henderson, $2. Thank you, Cornelius. Says, will you be doing more bank fishing videos for big ones? Yeah, man. Um, again, last Tuesday when I came out here to hit the spot for the first time this year, I had hoped to go live from the bank. But where I could access the bank back here, cell phone service suck. But next month in November, they're going to start dropping our water level down throughout East Tennessee. They'll start on Fort Loudon and then it'll go down to Watts Bar and they drop our levels down several feet for winter drawdown. And once that happens, it opens up a lot of shoreline access. Places like right now are just overgrown with all these overhanging trees that I can't set up on. I can't cast because of the trees. I'll be able to access those places. And so once the water level drops, I'll be doing a lot more bank fishing and we'll do some live streams from the, from the bank, absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. I like bank fishing. Kind of got into it a couple years back and I've really enjoyed it. Cody Yak Fishing says, that's a guy complaining on how Justin only cares about money. Well. I mean, I do this for a living, so I need to be focused on money, right? If I'm going to be successful at it, I mean, that's kind of, uh, I can't do this for free. Um, I can, I did for a long time to grow the channel, but I still work in a full-time job. Uh, the amount of content I put out now, I've put out more catfishing videos in the first 10 months of this year than what any other catfishing YouTuber has done all year or will do all year. And I can't do that if I'm working a job. So I got to be focused on money. I ain't gonna apologize for it. I ain't gonna apologize for being successful at this. So haters can hate. Again, I got the catfish club for people who support me and the kiss my ass club for the people who don't. The kiss my ass club, it's free. Free membership. <laughs> Riley Taylor's back has been off for a while. Glad to see 660 plus on here. Any catching? Yeah, Riley, man, got a big blue there earlier. It was a nice one, over 41 inches. It was a dang good time, man. Catfish Cameron says, you got baits down right now. Yeah, sure do, man. We out here. Pro moderator Eric Thompson says, how could anyone not like you? <laughs> That's what I say, Eric. I say the same thing. How could anybody not like me? <laughs> Steve says, bro, are most of your haters YouTubers or trolls? A little bit of both. You know, it's uh, YouTubers that haven't had much success, that a lot of jealousy and bitterness, and then there's just random people that, you know, they're just miserable human beings, and they see somebody having fun, and they want to tear them down. Internet, social media, it's full of those people. You just got to brush it off and keep going. <clears throat> Most important thing is I got a lot of positive people. 
You know, my chat box, 655 people watching right now. A, a solid 600 of them's probably super positive people, happy to be here. I got an awesome girlfriend at home. I got awesome parents who are watching right now. I got a great support system around me. I got really good friends, you know, close friends. So I got a lot of good things going in my life. If YouTube dies for me, if the fishing sucks on a particular day, I'm still a, a, a very lucky man. So this ain't the only thing I got going in my life, you know. So unfortunately for a lot of people, it's it's just not the case with them. And so, uh, you know, it brings out a lot of a lot of bitterness in people. But you just got to try your best to feel bad for them and not and not get mad at them. Some people like painting services by Steve, though. He takes me off. But anyway. <clears throat> Let me scroll on down. We got Joey Vogel, $10. Thank you, Joey. It says, my fiance Shasta and me love your show. Learned a lot watching. Can you give her a shout out? Absolutely, man. Shasta, there's your shout out. Thank you, Joey, for the super chat. And thank you, Shasta, for watching. Y'all are awesome. walk fishing says people are always talking crap they wouldn't say a word if that's face to face with you yeah there's a lot of that stuff on the internet you know i i can't tell you how many threats i've gotten from bass fishermen when i'm using bass same with crappie fishermen too that's typically where my threats of physical harm come from yet every time i meet one of them at the boat ramp or something they're always super positive it's always positive people they never say anything um the other youtuber that hates my guts right now and keeps running me down I'm a phone call away from him, but I never knew there was a problem until he starts blasting me everywhere. So, you know, it is what it is. Cody, $5. He's got his email on there, so send me an email and I'll send my address. Thanks again, Justin. Um, yeah, thank you for that, Cody. That's that's a big help to me. That way I don't have to post my email. Hey, Nikki. Uh, Nikki Hayes, if you're still watching, Nikki's one of my moderators, and she's real good about uh, screenshotting people's emails for me, business stuff. Uh, Nikki, if you're watching, message me that after the show. Thanks in advance, Nikki. You're awesome. <laughs> Romines, there's Romine. He said, I'm the man. Eric Romines and Eric Thomason, uh, pro moderator, they're fishing a bass tournament coming up this weekend, the Fishing for Soldiers Boat Tournament. They used to do the Fishing for Soldiers Boat and Kayak Tournament same time. They've split that up now. The kayak division's in the spring, and the bass tournament, or the boat tournament's in the fall still, and awesome organization. Um, Jason McCormick does a fantastic job raising money for the Smoky Mountain Service Dogs, which is a organization they train service animals for disabled veterans. And he does a great job and they've always, they put on a good tournament, both the kayak and the boat divisions. They always have a ton of door prizes, raffle prizes, and, uh, and that tournament's here this weekend. And so I'm hoping Romines and Thomason do well in it. I like seeing them kayak guys beat the, the bass boat guys. Jim Smith says, what YouTuber is running you down? He don't get no more advertisement on my channel. He'll never get mentioned again. Bridge is burnt. My catch is bonus. The mouse is here around the corner. <laughs> oh my goodness. My mom, every time I don't mention, I go a live stream without mentioning the mouse is here. She's so proud of me. So we just blew that for her. She's watching tonight. Shout out to my mom. There's the mouse is here comment, mom. <laughs> <clears throat> Timothy Carey said, this former Marine supports you as well. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you for your service. Cat Fizzle says, $9.99. Thank you, Cat Fizzle. Says, can't wait for the next Nickajack video. Yeah, that's another place I'm going to get back down to soon. Uh, I'm wanting to hook up with my buddy Daniel down there. He lives in Chattanooga, owns Catfish Sumo. And when I go down there, I'm planning on signing some hats, these hats that we're selling. Plan on autographing some because I've had people request that and hopefully add that to his website there. But I'm hoping to get down there, hopefully, you know, again within the next month or so. <clears throat> I'm sorry for sniffling, y'all. It's getting chilly out here. We 
got, boy, we got a lot of comments. Here's another one. In Sergeant 84, $10. Thank you for that. He says, tell me how you convince your girlfriend to allow you to go fishing as much as you do. That's a great question. I get that all the time. Um, people say, well, man, how can you keep a girlfriend and go fishing like you do? Well, I'll tell you something. It's actually, and thank you for the super chat. It's a lot easier now than it used to be. So used to, before I before I was fishing full-time on YouTube, I was a nurse. I worked ER. I did travel nursing contracts. And so I always tried to stay close to home within about six hours. And I would structure my schedule where I would do six on, eight off. I would always get that in my contract. So I'd go away for work for a week. I'd come home for a week, basically. And I was able to maintain my channel and grow my channel by doing that because I'd film enough fishing videos on my weeks off that I was able to put out consistent content all month long. But back then, you know, again, I was gone half the month. And so the girlfriend barely saw me, you know, because when I was home, I was trying to fish, keep the channel going, whatnot. Now that I'm just fishing for a living, I'm doing this full time. If you notice back in the summer here when it was warmer, I would go out and fish from dawn till about 11 noon. That was my work day. I'd go out, fish, go home, eat lunch and edit videos. And then I had every evening for her because she's a, she has a hospital administration job. She works Monday through Friday. Uh, normal daytime hours. So we had every night and every weekend together. So we actually have more time together now than we ever have before. And so nights like tonight, obviously I'm out here on the water. We're not doing anything together, but uh, she lets me out in the evenings once in a while to do these live streams. But yeah, she's pretty understanding with all the, with all the fishing stuff. Sack Johnson's back. Glad to have you, Sack Johnson. Says, hope all is well. Love the videos. He says he gets the fish tomorrow. Good luck, man. Douglas Medlin's still here. There's Nikki still here. Hopefully she'll send me Cody's address. We got Walter Pearson, Catfish Club member, said you wouldn't have haters if you wasn't doing something right. That's the truth, man. Uh, back when my channel was small and I wasn't getting any views, it was all positive. It wasn't until I started growing and having success that people started. People want to support you until you get where you're going and they want to start chopping you down. Not everybody, it's a small percentage of people, but still, that's how it goes, man. I'd rather be where I am and have haters than still be where I was and not have any. <laughs> Where'd that one go? Was that Billy? There, Billy Hamilton, yeah, man, Billy. $30, man, Billy, listen, you ain't got to do nothing for me, man. You've done enough already. He says, hey, Justin, I'm unable to donate you like I normally do, but I will be able to soon. By the way, that was a kick-ass blue cat golly whopper. I thank you, Billy. Billy is by far my biggest supporter on here, y'all, financially. I appreciate it so much, Billy, but please don't feel like you ever, you've done enough. You don't have to donate anything, man. You just had a wreck. Fix your truck and, and get, yourself, get yourself situated there, man. But I do sincerely appreciate your support. Billy's a good man. Hey, there's a Palmetto Cat says, what's going on here? Well, Palmetto, we've had a we've had a slow night of fishing so far. We've been live two hours, but I got one really good blue and hooked a small channel that I lost here at the side of the kayak. So bites have been slow. I knew it would be coming out, but otherwise we've just been hanging out, having a good time, blocking a few trolls and haters here and there. You know, pissing people off, doing what I do. <laughs> Glad to have you, Kevin. And Kevin, I'm going to be in touch with you too because I was telling them earlier, barring any more unexpected life events, I'm going to finally get to make it over there to Santee like we had planned on back a few months ago. We got a helicopter man going by, y'all. Let's see if we can get him in the, in the frame. There he goes. I'll be in touch, Kevin. We're going to try to do something. Steve says he's going to Facebook jail tonight. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't surprise me, man. Kind of a cheap shot for them guys to go to my Facebook now. I can't even do anything about it while I'm live. That's kind of a kind of a chicken SHIT move, but you know, whatever. Roman Maroney says, I guess you and your 
BJJ friend or the best two skipjack fishermen of all time. Uh, I mean, we're not, but we, we catch enough to keep ourselves fishing. Has life in the house? What's going on, Has? And Zachary Blanco says, don't get sick on us. Now, I'm liable to catch my death out here tonight in this cool, damp air. Jerry Smith in the house. Truck 28 says, best catfish channel ever. Thank you so much. Well, Lord, I'm way behind on the comment box. Hell, hell, I'm... Here's another super chat. Callie. Kate, man, Callie's hit me up a bunch tonight, y'all. Man, she always does. $25. Says... Are your new hats snapback hats? I'd love to get one, but I got the tiniest head and struggle to find hats. I buy my eyeglasses in the kids section and clothes in the youth section at Walmart, never mind being 35 years old. They are snapback, um, Callie, but I, I, I don't know what the smallest head circumference size they fit. Um, if you will message Daniel there at Catfish Sumo, uh, the customer service link, I'm sure he can he can measure one of the hats for you, put it on like a mannequin head or something and be able to to tell you that. Thank you for that, Kelly. Thank you for all your sleeper chats, Kelly, and for moderating for me. <clears throat> Palmetto Cat says the hats are looking great. Thank you, Kevin. I do think I look pretty good in them. Jackson Howell says, have you ever fished a green light? I did. I had one on my kayak a few years ago that I had, and um, you know, you'd draw a bunch of bait up to the surface, but I didn't notice my catfish catches. We got something happening here, a little dink tap or something. I didn't, with the green light, I didn't notice my, my catfish catches being affected one way or the other. That's that head bait right there he's chewing on. He's gonna have to be bigger than that if he wants to hit it. But you can see with this white light I got on tonight, all this right here under me, that's bait. You probably can't see them on the water. It's just small minnows and shad. All that up there is bait. And whatever that little dink pecking right there, that was probably him, that squiggle. I'm in this creek channel, 43 feet deep. This is as far back as I can go in this creek and have cell phone service. Water temp 63 degrees. And we're just hoping to get some fish working in out of this creek tonight. Got two already. A uh, big blue and a small channel um, wasn't worth bragging about, but the big blue was a good one. What's going on over here? That's that live bluegill. He just got lively there for a second, I think. Maybe I'm imagining things out here. We got a little bit of a breeze, and so because there's no current, my spot lock on my motor here keeps moving the kayak around and sometimes that can that can hide a bite from me normally if a fish bites i feel it I feel it throughout the whole kayak but well, if that motor's moving just right it, it makes me think i got a bite sometimes and i don't i think i had another super chat i do barry black's back man barry's another regular viewer five dollars says tennessee gave alabama a run for their money nice fish justin thank you barry yeah i ain't gonna lie barry i had a glimmer of hope for until about halftime that we were going to have a chance that you know we were playing good and Alabama wasn't and maybe if we could catch a break there here and there we'd get us a get us a win get us a big upset win unfortunately it didn't pan out that way in the end we just don't have the depth right now but I think we're on the right track as Tennessee football fans for once in the last about 10 years we got a little bit of hope around here so that's more than we've had in a long time my NFL team, I'm in a survivor league. I talk about this on the live streams all the time. I picked Arizona this week. Most of my survivor league did too. So we had 31 to start. We got 15 left. Everybody advanced this past week. So I think I'm going to take Buffalo this coming week. They're playing Miami. Should be an easy win for them. So I'm going to choose them. I'm going to turn the camera around here a second, y'all. I got to wipe the snot off my nose. We're going to have to lose my good looking hat here soon and put my toboggan on it's getting a little getting a little chilly out here since that sun went down walter pearson says hey billy hamilton glad you're okay hope you get your truck for yeah man i'm glad billy's okay what could have ended bad for him landon hendrix says what's the biggest channel you've ever caught 
probably around 10 pounds. Uh, it would have come out of here on Mountain Hill. There's a lot of channel cats here. Something's after that bait. A little dink tap, I guess. He just, yeah, he ain't got it. He's just tapping it down there, chewing me up. One of them old channel cats we was just talking about. Where'd it go? I saw another one. Where did it, where it is? Where it is, where it is. There's Callie back with another $5. And she says, y'all help me convince Justin to come fish the red next summer so we can see what fun channel cats can be when they're the top cat. Well, Callie, I, I hope you've still got water up there next year. With the drought that you have described going on, I, you may be out of water by the time next year rolls around. I hope that's not the case. You never know where I'll end up next year. It, I could be anywhere. Dominic, Catfish Club member. So, so Tyler, you're the one. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, Slim Jim Lockpicking says, do you ever worry about flipping in the fall and winter months? I cannot seem to muster up the courage to kayak in the winter. It is a risk. Yeah, when the water temps are cold, you go over, you're in bad shape. So uh, I try to be more cautious in the winter, certainly. I think having the spot lock's a big help because my biggest fear is always anchoring in current. Uh, not so much being anchored in current, but when you go to pull your anchor up, if your anchor's hung and, and you're kind of sideways in the current, that's when things can go bad. So now that I got the spot lock, it's not nearly as unsafe, but yeah, it's uh, it's a risk, you know, and uh, you don't it don't take long when, when hypothermia sets in for things to go bad. So it's definitely a risk. I try to, you know, I try to be smart. I try to tell people where I'm going, when to expect me back. I try to be careful when I'm out here. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's a risk, you know. Truth be told, I've probably got a bigger risk of dying on the way to go fishing than I do actually out here on the water, but it's still something to take seriously. We got Shasta Walters, $5. Thank you, Shasta. It says, which lake is better, Fort Loudon or Watts Bar? Can you give a shout out to my daughter? Gosh, I hope I'm saying her name right, Shasta. Is it? Kiera Vogel, Kira Vogel, Kira. Gosh, I wish I knew how to say it. I am so sorry, uh, Shasta and, and Kira. I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, thank you for that super chat. And absolutely, I'll, I'll gladly give her a shout out. I wish I knew how to say it appropriately. Um, Loudon and Watts Bar. Apparently, wa apparently Fort Loudon sucks uh, to hear what some people say. Personally, I catch a lot more fish on Watts Bar. I tend to catch fewer but better quality on Loudon, and so that's that's kind of my uh, my take on it. I typically, you know, I'll not get five or six fish on Loudon on an average trip. I have more skunk days on Loudon than I do Watts Bar, but the overall quality, my biggest fish ever, has come on Fort Loudon, and so um, and I've caught some really good ones. On, I've caught some big ones on Watts Bar too, but. On average, it's more smaller fish on Watts Bar and better quality on Loudon. That's my opinion on it. Uh, Kelly Smith, four ninety nine. Thank you, Kelly. Says here, fishy, fishy. I want to see a gollywhopper. Me too, Kelly. Me too. Thank you for that super chat. I'm hoping we see one. So he done got one really good blue, but uh, I'd like to find one even bigger. Catfish and crappie in the house. What's going on, Mark? Troy Holly says, go Vols. Absolutely. <clears throat> There's Callie answering people's questions for me. I appreciate that. Michael Schwartz says, you got to come try Lake of the Ozarks, Big Blue. I hope so, man. I hope to make it out there and fish with Mike Baker, do some crappie fishing. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. And I uh, talked to him earlier in the year, and it just schedule-wise never worked out for us to fish together. But hopefully at some point in the future, we're going to, him and I are going to link up, and he's going to teach me some crappie fishing out there. He's a heck of a fisherman. Hey, we'll see you later, Ray Leak. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by tonight. Realville Catfishing is still at it. Yeah, man. We're going to stay live till probably 9, maybe 10 tonight. I got to be home by 11 for sure. 
I told the girlfriend I'd be home by 11. So we're going to end this stream probably at 10 o'clock or at the latest. Shrio Ken says, the whole point of fishing is to have fun. Why make it anything else? I agree, man. I agree. I, I just, some people just seem so miserable when they're doing it. And, you know, if I try to fish on, if I fish Fort Loudon on the weekends and during summer, when you got all that boat traffic and stuff, it, I'm, I'm angry. You know, I'm miserable too by the time I'm done. But I just don't go out there in that situation. You know, I try to fish during the week or I try to go places with less boat traffic so that it's fun and enjoyable. And I'm with you. If it ain't fun, why do it? It's just a job then otherwise. So I already had one of them. This is, I want to have fun and do the job part. <laughs> Haslife says, what is your least favorite part of kayak fishing? Um, good question, Has. That's a really good question. Probably my least favorite part is bad weather. Because in a boat, you can ride out some bad weather. You can set up a bimini top. You know, when it gets cold in the winter... And I see these guys in the big catfish boats and they've got these enclosures with heaters on and I'm out here just roughing it. Um, I'm very jealous. So bad weather is my least favorite part of kayak fishing and probably just loading up. You know, if you got a boat, everything stays in the boat. You drive on the trailer, strap it down and you're gone. With me, I load up the kayak. I take the rods. Uh, if I got a bait tank, I got to put it in the car. There's a lot of a lot of setting up and taking down at the end of the night. So that's probably my two least favorite things of kayak fishing. But the kayak fishing experience itself, the adrenaline rush you get when you hook that big fish and your kayak kind of leans a little bit, trying to land a big fish in the kayak, you, that, you can't get to that fishing off the bank or in a boat. It just, you can't, it just don't match up. I've done both, I like them both, but it ain't the same as catching them in a kayak. Got where'd I go? I lost that comment after you said it, has. Eric Thompson says loading and unloading. Yeah, that's the truth. Same way for him. Especially if you got a big heavy kayak. Like I'm in a Hobie Pro Angler tonight. This thing, man, it's a beast. And that's why I wanted that old town pedal kayak for a lot of the places in the winter when they drop our water levels. A lot of our ramps become unusable. And so with this kayak here, it's 140 pounds dry before you add any gear. And of course, I got the electric motor, I got the battery, I got my catfish gear, the big bait cooler and stuff. That's a heavy kayak. And I wouldn't want to be lugging this thing around. So I back my trailer in just like a boat, attach my rope to it, shove it off, pull it up on the bunks. And um, once we get on into winter, there'll be some places that I fish where the boat ramp sucks. I'm going to use my lighter weight Old Town kayak where I can roll it down without breaking my back. So... Loading and unloading on a big heavy kayak is definitely a, definitely a chore. Realville says, mine asked me what time I'll be done. He responds, no telling, babe. <laughs> I've tried that with mine too. It don't fly over well when I say that to my girlfriend. <laughs> Landon Hendricks says, would you ever consider buying a smaller boat like a John boat? I mean, I will at some point, Landon, whenever my body breaks down to the point that I can't sit in a kayak for long periods of time, I'm already at the point I can't do like I used to do. You know, used to, I'd go out eight, 10, 12 hours in the kayak. Now my average trip's four to five hours. I just can't, I can't do the long days anymore, especially if I'm doing them consecutively. So at some point I'll just physically decline to the point that I can't do how I want to do and I'll go back to a boat but I'm hoping that's a long time off I'm hoping hoping to get many more years of this has life says I agree with you on loading and unloading I don't launch at a boat ramp have to load and unload all the gear each time yeah has life's got an old town sportsman autopilot and that is a heavy kayak and it is a awkward kayak as far as loading and unloading with the way the handle sits on the front so I feel you has man that's a tough one MCP Gaming Pro, $5. has been a while. Where you been at? Hey, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for that super chat. I'm cutting back on video production right now, man. I'm just doing a couple lives once or twice a week. 
and maybe one video, regular video a week, maybe. I'm gonna just cut back until spring because views decline this time of year. It's just not worthwhile. Uh, so I'll hit it hard again, starting about mid-March and we'll get back to the five day a week deal. But like this week, this will probably be the only video this week, unless I'm filming something tomorrow. We've got some, uh, depends on what weather service you look at. It's one, the weather channel is calling for high winds tomorrow. My local app says it's gonna be fine. So if the winds are calm tomorrow, I'm going fishing. If the winds are up, I probably won't. And then Thursday and Friday, it's supposed to be some rain potentially in the areas. I don't know if I'll get to fish anymore this week, but uh, these videos are just gonna be kind of sporadic. You know, I'm gonna try to do one or two lives and a regular video when I can just until spring and then we'll hit it hard again. This YouTube fishing channel is kind of seasonal and I'm treating it like that. I had a new member pop up. Where'd that go? Oh, crap. Well, let me do this. Let me just click on, there it is, Craig Rasnick. Thank you, Craig. Welcome to the club, man. Hey, Craig. Um, first, thank you for joining the Catfish Club. Craig sent me a uh, super chat, or a super chat, a PayPal donation last week. And Craig, I tried responding to you. I was going to send you a thank you there for the PayPal donation. And it, it had some kind of message box there that's showing up. It didn't show your email address. So I couldn't email you. But if you didn't get it, there's a message somewhere there on PayPal in a message box. I was thanking you for that. So thank you again for the PayPal donation if, if by chance you didn't see my message. There's Tracy Johnson, $5. It says, my wife and I enjoy watching the live feed. She got me a kayak catfishing sweatshirt for my birthday last week. Well, hey, Tracy. Boy, we got, we got dogs going off on deer over here. Uh, Tracy, thank you for the super chat. Uh, thank you to your wife for buying the... Uh, uh, kayak catfish and sweatshirt and happy birthday happy late birthday <laughs> i hope you had a great birthday i hope you had a great birthday week william morris says he's back shane meeks says say it ain't so gotta have my daily dose of kayak catfish yeah man i i wish i could it's just you know the views drop and uh kind of just not worthwhile and i kind of like having some days too to just go fishing you know without having the cameras like this weekend here when i did the bass tournament i didn't film i just i spent a few hours I didn't, we, on saturday we were it's a two-day tournament we were allowed to fish 7 a.m to 7 p.m and i didn't fish the whole time i fished about eight to two and then sunday we could fish 7 a.m to 11 a.m and so i fished both days a few hours didn't film just went out and had fun enjoyed myself and so that's what i'm going to do a little bit more of during the fall and winter when the views aren't there and the money's not there. It's kind of enjoy myself fishing without the cameras. And then again, spring and summer when, when business is booming, when it's time to, when it's time to work, really crank out the content then like I did this past spring and summer. But yeah, man, I ain't, I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna be back. <laughs> hey, there's two stands fishing, 222. He says, first time here, Thank you, Has and Green Machine. Well, hey, man, glad to have you, Two Stands. I appreciate that. And thank you for Has and Green Machine for sending me my way. <laughs> Let's see. Master Nader 7. What a name. <laughs> $4.99. Thank you, buddy. It says, nice to meet you on the water Sunday. Glad you survived the heavy fog. My father-in-law thought it was cool to see you. Hey, yeah, man. It was nice meeting you. I saw them out there on Sunday. I fished, uh, you know, the bass tournament. And I got out there 7.30 or so, and it was really foggy that morning. And I saw uh, Master Nader 7 there and his father-in-law out there catfishing and chatted with them a little bit. They had caught some fish. And then uh, I left after the tournament we had the tournament check in there at uh, lab land and i just called it a day after that but uh, yeah it was cool meeting you it's always cool meeting people out somewhere that have watched the videos you know people that would you know be people that probably would never meet in any other form of life it's just just so happens they watch the videos and we've instantly got a bond it's a conversation starter so it's always pretty cool when that happens y'all I think I'm just seeing things. Yeah, I'm just seeing things. 
thought my rod tip was looking a little, a little funny there. Has life sustaining the man. I'm glad to have him. Glad y'all sent him my way. Mike Barron says, I'll be here to watch if it's one video a week or 12. Love the content. Thank you, Michael. I'm glad to have you, man. I got a lot of people that watch every video I put out. I don't know how you can do it. I can barely sit through it to edit it all. <laughs> Juan McGill says, I like it when your viewers comment on here, their experience on seeing you in real life. Yeah, I see, you know, a lot of people recognize me out and stuff now. Uh, pretty much everywhere I go, I'll have people driving down the road hollering at me and honking at me. And I met a guy today, I was went out skipjack fishing this morning to get us some bait for tonight. And there was a guy, I don't know if he didn't, if I, he might've told me his name and I forgot already. I'm terrible with names, but really nice guy. He was skipjack fishing there at the launch when I got back and I chatted with him a few minutes. I gave him a few skipjack. I had had enough, you know, and really nice guy. Again, I get these haters and people threatening me and stuff, but every time I meet somebody, it's always a positive experience. Every time I meet somebody out. <clears throat> Everybody's saying what's good to each other. Yak Nasty says, any future catfish tournaments you're interested in? No, not really. Um, the kayaks and cats or the uh, kayak catfishing tournaments that Kayak Mike runs uh, is still going on, but I don't like their current format. It's, I can't win with their current format. I have no chance. So um, I may fish some more next year when they bring back the slot tournaments, but um, I, don't have any, I don't have any more tournaments planned in the near future other than maybe some the local clubs bass tournament trail will be starting up again in november i'll probably hit some of those but i don't have any other catfish trips planned tournaments planned i should say douglas medlin says that will be good that way you don't burn out that would be a loss to us all yeah i'll tell you something uh douglas about the burnout on youtube for me it's not the fishing i could go fishing seven days a week and love the heck out of it the burnout for me comes from those 25 to 30 hours a week behind the computer the part that people don't see you know they see me going out and like this summer i was fishing dawn till 11 ish most days go home eat lunch and then i edit you know in the afternoon and when you're doing that grind every day it's 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 like a it's like an office job basically it's a computer job so uh, that's the part that kind of burns me out it's the editing nice thing about these live streams though is that there's no editing when i'm done tonight i'm done so there's Ryan Bortz in the house. What's going on, Ryan? I had another super chat. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. CJXV499. Thank you. It says, good luck tonight. Hope you catch some big ones. I'm having luck over by Percy Priest at the moment. Hey, man. That's awesome. I'm glad you're catching some fish out there. I hope you're doing better than I am. I got, if you're just tuning in, I got one big blue and a smaller channel here. And uh, my night's made regardless, but it's been a slow bite kind of how it is out here on Melton Hill. It's a big fish or bust type place for me. <clears throat> Zachary Blanco says, my girlfriend says you need sweatpants so she can get me an outfit. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if, if sweat, sweatpants may be a possibility. I don't know if that's uh, something I can do or not. Craig says, yes, I finally figured out how to become a member. Hey, I'm glad to have you, Craig. Mike Barron says, what's the biggest flathead you ever caught if you had to guess? I don't know. The, um, you know, I don't, I don't ever weigh fish, so I couldn't even guesstimate what they weigh. Um, the longest one I ever measured for a tournament was 45 inches, and I've caught some in that range and bigger, but uh, I don't have just one flathead that's just head and tails above all the rest. I've caught several that's kind of comparable size. Uh, but I couldn't, I couldn't guesstimate a, a weight for you. I don't, I don't get in these penis measuring contests with people that's, you know, they're better than me because they've caught bigger fish. And there's a ton of people that's better than me. And there's millions of people that's caught bigger fish than me. I'm just somebody who goes, has fun. You know, I caught that big blue out here tonight. It was an awesome experience and I'm over it. You know, I'm ready for the next one now. So. <laughs> Let 
he have? Where'd that question go about the slot term? Master Nader 7 says, what's usually your slot size to consider cats, dinks, fun size, or golly whopper? Uh, usually for me on the board and stuff, if it's under 30 inches, I'll call it a dink. Uh, if it's, you know, 30 to 30 inch range, kind of a 35 inch range, 36, we'll call it a fun sizer. Uh, once you get up above 40 inches, I start saying those are more whoppers. And, you know, when I get them really heavy fish, regardless of size, or if it's like, you know, 44 plus inches, I'll start calling them golly whoppers in. That's kind of mine, but you know, everybody's got their own standards and stuff that they, that they uh, classify fish with by. And you know, one person's, one person's dink is another person's trophy, depending on where you fish and where you live and all that. So I try not to, I try not to uh, be too demeaning, you know. I know I say dinks and stuff for what would be somebody's personal best in a lot of cases, but I try not to be too demeaning about it like some people are. Let me pick out a few more. Sorry, y'all. We got 528 people. These comments keep going. I can't get to everybody. I'm just kind of pulling some out at random here. Nikki Hayes still here watching. Douglas Medlin, my Catfish Club members here, still watching. Stephen Long says, how about that 80s wrestling? Man, don't get me started on talking about 80s wrestling. We could... We could go all night talking about that. I'm behind on the dark side of the ring documentaries. We've been, uh, me and a girlfriend, of course, it's football season, so we're watching a lot of football. And she's a big, Do big Dodgers fan. And so with the playoffs up until they got eliminated, she was watching them all the time. And now we're getting caught up on Shameless right now. We're on the final season of it. And I think once we get done with all that, then we can focus on the dark side of the ring documentaries again and get caught up on them. Man, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just going to pick some out at random here. I think I had another super chat. I did. Distorted Christ. Distorted Christ. Five dollars. Says, hi, I live right next to the Ohio and Guy and, I'm, I don't know how to say it, Guy and Dot River. I'm having a hard time catching fish in the river with a strong current. Any advice? I'm probably the wrong person to ask, man, because I don't ever fish in heavy current. Um, I would look for current breaks, though. If you've got, you know, any eddies or uh, anything to provide a current break, it'd probably be, you know, a good place to fish. There's probably going to be some fish out there, um, you know, getting out of the current. Also, if you can anchor down in the deeper current, if you get in some deeper holes or, you know, some rock piles or down trees, stuff like that, stuff that fish can get behind and get a current break, those would be good places to fish also. But again, I'm probably not the best resource for heavy current just because I never fish it. Thank you for that super chat though. I appreciate that. Zachary Blanco says, happy Halloween. Yeah, it's coming up next week. I'm gonna dress as that kayak catfish guy. Old man on the hill says, Justin, my dog, Sassy, seen you on the computer screen and heard you talking and started barking. <laughs> That's great. Justin Lee says, any fish yet? Yeah, man, we got a big blue here earlier. 15 round champ says, go Dodgers. Yeah, my girlfriend would like you. She's a huge Dodgers fan. Sandra Hillary back with another $50. Thank you, Sandry. Sa San God, I've been talking too much, Sandra. I'm butchering names now. Sandra Hillary, $50. Thank you. Says, next fish is for my brother. Okay, really missing him. His birthday is this Saturday. Man, that's, I'm sorry, Sandra. That's got to be tough. And absolutely, if we get another fish tonight, I don't know if we will, but if we do, it's going to your brother. Uh, Y'all, for those of you that don't know, Sandra recently lost her brother, it was unexpectedly, and uh, she was real close with him. And, you know, when you lose somebody, birthdays and holidays are tough. And so with his birthday coming up there Saturday, that's going to be, uh, I feel bad for you, Sandra, I do. Uh, I wish there was something that I could say to make it better or take the pain away, and unfortunately I just can't. There's, you know, they always say that, time eases all pain but in 
in reality, that's, there's always going to be a little bit of it there, I think, you know. But, uh, you know, you'll be, you'll be in my thoughts, that's for sure. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be thinking about you this Saturday, that's for sure. Sandra, just like that, was getting hit. Sandra, we're going to dedicate the next fish to him, but if it's a channel cat, it don't count. But we'll dedicate it to him anyway. I seen that fish right there. You can see my screen's kind of blocked out because all that shad that's under my light. That was him. He's just a small fish chewing on that head bait. Yeah, hell with that fish, Sandra. We didn't want that in any way. Dang old channel cat. Jeremy Bryant says, what time in the a.m. is best? I like dawn, man. From a little before dawn until you know, 10, 11 o'clock, bite seems to be pretty good oftentimes. You get a feeding window there around dawn and then also too at sunset. If you notice tonight, when did we get our big fish? It was right about the time it was getting dark on my screen. I was needing to have the light on. That's when a big fish worked through. So oftentimes feeding windows around dawn and dusk. Yak Nasty, $5? says, wait till you see the last episode of Shameless. They didn't have to do me like that. I choked up, not gonna lie, damn good show. Uh, thank you for that super chat. Yeah, it's, it's been an awesome show. We've, I can't remember when we started watching. Uh, we're way behind, we don't pay for it. We watch it, you know, after it comes on Netflix and stuff. Uh, but it's been an awesome show. It's been, we've enjoyed it. I hate that it's coming to an end. <clears throat> Big B Rebooted says, love the live stream videos. Keep it up. About to head to work in a few. Good luck and stay safe. Yeah, man. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great night at work. There's Mike Barron and Cody talking about Sandra. Jason, I'm sorry, Jason Verhein, Verhein says, do you ever come south, North Georgia, and fish our river, specifically Coosa River? We catch some big ones, but I'm wanting to catch some from the kayaks. I have not, uh, but it may be something that I'm able to do in the future. So it could be a possibility going forward, yeah. Billy Hamilton says, don't understand. I donated $30 and it's gone. Um, Billy, I saw your super chat pop up. I, I think what it is is the... If you're talking about like the top of the screen, those disappear sometimes. Now the big ones stay up there for a long period of time. Like normally Billy does 500 for me. He's always a big donor. Those stay up there for long periods of time. But uh, the other ones, I don't know what YouTube, the time period that they pop off. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I don't think it, it didn't disappear out of my bank account, Billy. Don't worry about that. Sanders says, like and subscribe or even become a Catfish Club member. Absolutely. And any of y'all looking for memorabilia, I talked about this early in the show. I've got my ugly stick rods that I built this channel with. I'm going to be listing them individually on eBay once per week for the next four weeks. So I got four rods and I don't need them anymore. So the first one is on there now. There's links down in the video description. I don't know what the bid's up to. I started at 99 cents, auctional in Sunday. And then I've also got my one of my Cat Max reels that was in a lot of videos. I tried to sell it in the yard sale back in the summer. Person claimed it, never paid me, never responded to the email, and then I still got I still got it. So I put it on eBay also again, starting it at ninety nine cents for anybody that wants the reel or just wants a uh, you know piece of the show, piece of the, the YouTube channel. Um. Billy, where'd it go, Billy? I saw you. Billy Hamilton said it was in the chat, but disappeared. I don't know. That's weird. See, my chat box, Billy, on YouTube here on the live stream, I can only go back so far, and then then I can't access it anymore. Um, I can after the show, after we end the stream, I can go back and look then, um, but I can't. I don't know how many minutes it is or how many comments, but I can only see back so many. Stephen Long, there he says, Billy, chat ends at 7.15 or so. Yours was before then. Okay. Now, I think Billy hit me up after that. I don't know. 
We'll figure it out, Billy. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're here, Billy. I'm glad you're safe. Billy had a wreck. For those of you tuning in late, Billy had a wreck last night. He hit a deer in his truck, so had some damage, and thankfully he's okay. But uh, there's Douglas Medlin. He says 26 and 64. Wow, okay. So we've had some bids while I've been live tonight. I don't know what them things end up going for, but, you know, again, it's stuff that at this point would be sitting in my closet, so maybe it'll be something that could be meaningful for somebody else out there, you know, have them have a, a piece of the show because those rods, I mean, those are, there's four, there's a lot of ugly sticks out there, but there's only four that's been used on this channel. So when they're gone, they're gone. It's kind of a, one of them memento things, but again, the girlfriend ain't going to let me hang them on the wall at the house, so they just going to sit in the closet for me. Billy says, uh, chat's been buffering i hope it ain't been buffering for everybody johnny tackle says i have learned so much from you been fishing all my life and learned more about what i love to do is awesome keep up the good work man and be safe thank you johnny chits and giggles outdoors i love that name so say hey, justin we went saturday night tennessee river wheeler lake we tried everything caught 137 inch flathead shaking my head have fun and be safe Hey, man, if you're only going to catch one, how about a 37-inch flathead? That's a pretty good fish. Hopefully you had a good trip down there anyway. Three, three, four outdoors, because that ain't a wreck. That's an expensive hunting trip. Yeah, I see more deer around here get killed on the roads than I do people out in the woods hunting for them. <laughs> Michael Strunk, $1.99. Thank you. Michael, he says, do you ever see skipjack busting the surface at night? Not usually, no. But if, if you got a light, if there's a light at the dock or something, uh, my buddy Daniel down there in Chattanooga, a place he goes, he catches them at night, and it's under a light. So they will feed at night, but me personally, no. I, I normally just fish for them during the day. If I'm out fishing at night, I'm after cats or strappers. T Baxter 1706 says, hello from Music City. Love your videos. Well, thanks, man. Travis Gentry says, when, when, when will you start your guiding career? Probably never. Uh, being a fishing guide ain't my, ain't my cup of tea. I went on a, my buddy Mark with Deuces Wild Fishing Charter. He is a licensed guide, Coast Guard captain and all that. And, you know, I went on a trip him with a, a couple viewers there last week or the week before they've sponsored an upcoming video um through their business and so i hopped on the boat with them but i see how hard mark works i see how hard all these fishing guides do and they do all the work and can't reel in none of the fish i'm too selfish for that <laughs> i can't be uh i can't be doing no fishing guide stuff Who, JR Gray 420 said, had to come on the video on my phone to throw a thumbs up. So might as well add a comment. Hey man, thank you. Thank you for that thumbs up. Looks like we got about 556 of them. Juan Miguel says, it's been quick buffering for me, but has three or four times. Yeah, I hate to hear that, man. Hopefully my cell phone boosters that I'm getting will help with a lot of that. There's 334 with the Braves up 2 nothing. he says. Okay, well, they're starting off with a lead there. Delaware Valley paving in the house. What's going on, buddy? Fish Boy Fishing, have you caught any more since the Big Blue? I have not. Um, not yet. Jason Cook says he has the 64 bid. Hey, man, I hope 64 does it for you. I'm certainly fine with that. Craig Resnick says, Kayak Mike Fish is not too far from his house, but he hasn't got to meet him yet. I'm sure you'll see him out there. D. Duran says, he keeps getting an error message. We got all kinds of technical difficulties. It's always something. I don't know what's up. Yeah, there's Lake Sam Rayburn says that too. Yeah, sorry, y'all. I don't know. I, I don't know what's up with it. Could be anything. All kinds of technical difficulties. 
Crowbar Jones says, Justin, you have the best content bar none, and you have the best viewers as well. Blessings to all. Good night. Well, thank you, Crowbar Jones. That's very nice of you to say. Ryan Floyd says, glad to finally catch a live stream. I recently got to buy my grandfather's boat after he passed. Got it all set up now, and your channel has helped me get more fish in the boat. Love your content. Well, thank you, Ryan. I'm glad you find the video was helpful, and I'm sorry for your loss with your grandfather there. I hope you have uh, many more new memories in that boat. Oh, Sandra rubbing it in, y'all. Look at Sandra Hiller. She says, 8.45 p.m. and 73 degrees in Florida. I'm out here. My nose is red. I got snot running down because it's chilly out here right now. Dang old Sandra. Yeah, Billy keeps getting error messages too. I don't know what's up, man. There's 334 Outdoors back with a super chat, 499. He says, I'm state chair of Carp Anglers Group of the state of Florida. Would love to put you on some big carp and cats on the Apple. I don't know how to say it. I'm terrible at these things. Apple Chicola River. Hey, man, I may take you up on that sometime. Thank you for the super chat. I, you know, I kind of like them carp. I got into that here earlier this year and uh, going to do some more of it when they drop our water down. Probably what I'm going to do on these bank fishing videos here once our water level drops is throw out a couple carp rods too and uh, just try to do both at the same time. So I may take you up on that sometime. There's Sandra with a banana super sticker, $1.49. Don't be throwing them bananas at me, Sandra. It's bad luck. <laughs> Jason's got to get back to work. We'll see you after a while, Jason, if I'm still on here. Old man on the hills getting chat airs. Yeah, everybody's happening, I guess. Brian Posey, Catfish Club member, says, I guess I'm just driving up the bids. <laughs> well, thanks, Brian. You're doing a good job for me. <laughs> Ricky Cope says, what do you usually do to help pass time when you're not getting bites or alive? I play a lot of Candy Crush, Ricky. I'm on level 3000 something. Also too, uh, I'll put on a podcast. I'll have it on my phone and just click it off, you know, for when the fish hits. That way I don't get copyright dang, but I listen to Jim Cornette, uh, the Jim Cornette experience, the old wrestling manager from the eighties. I like hearing his old wrestling stories and podcasts and stuff. So I'll play that some, but uh, a lot of this right here on the phone when I'm sitting out here waiting on fish to bite. These live streams are good for passing time for me, though. You know, places like tonight, again, for those of you tuned in late, I'm on Melton Hill uh, Reservoir tonight or Melton Hill Lake on, on the Clinch River. And this is kind of a big fish or bust type fishery for me. There's some good blues in here. I've caught some big ones. I've caught some big flatheads, but I've gotten skunked out here a lot, too. They either there or they ain't. And so I knew coming out here tonight I was going to get a big fish or probably nothing at all. Thankfully, we got the big fish. I hit this spot last week too, got a big fish. So it's kind of a, we're in the right time of year for fish to be working through these creeks here on Melton Hill and becoming easier to catch. Unfortunately, this creek cell phone service sucks back there where I want to be, but uh, we're making it work out here toward the entrance of it where I do have better service and we've got a big fish on each trip that have been out here. So having a good time regardless. Here's another one. Hold on, y'all. I got to wipe my nose again. Y'all stare at the front of my kayak for a second. Getting cold out here. River Attic, $1.99. Says, do you have a lot of gar in the rivers you fish? Um, thank you for that. Yeah, we actually do. We've got, uh, we don't have alligator gar here. We have long nose and spotted gar. And in the shallows, they're real prevalent. They'll mess up your baits if you're fishing shallows. Between the gar and the turtles, it can be hard to fish in the shallows here a lot. But, um, you know, I'm normally fishing deep. I like fishing deep structure. And normally at the depths I'm at, gar aren't usually a problem for me. I did get my personal best gar back in the summer, though, on a piece of cut bait while I was trolling for catfish. Hey, there's Jimmy Edwards with $35. Thank you, Jimmy. He says, I am watching from Prattville, Alabama and planning on trying to get the big one tomorrow. Good job. Well, thank you, Jimmy. And I hope you get him. Good luck out there. 
I hope the weather's good for you down there tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to do here. We're either going to have high winds or calm winds. I don't know. Depends on the weather report. <laughs> Depends on which one you look at. Now, thank you again for that, Jimmy. That's very nice of you. Juan Miguel says, what all's on your vest that you wear? So this is my life jacket. I really don't have anything on it. I got my microphone here. That's what's on there. Um, in my pockets, I've got a whistle because that's required by law. We have to have a whistle out here in a kayak. And I keep my my trolling motor remote attached to my to my life jacket. So that's the only thing that's in my pockets, though. We got Lee Molinax 999. Thank you, Lee. He says, hi, Justin. I just got on. What baits are you using tonight? Well, thanks for joining the stream there, Lee, and thank you for the super chat. So we've got three rods with cut bait right now and one with a live bluegill. Now, cut bait is skipjack. We've got a head, a larger chunk, and a smaller chunk. And again, we've got one live bait out here tonight. We've got a live bluegill. He's on this back rod over here. We're trying to make it count. So far, Lee, we've got uh, big blue. Had one big bite so far, ate a smaller chunk of skipjack. It was a nice blue. It was over 41 inches, had some weight to it. It's a dang good fish. And uh, had a smaller channel cat I reeled up and popped off here at the, at the kayak. But uh, that's been it so far. Travis Gentry says, Justin out here fighting the bad guys. I like to fight a fish better. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Jerry Ward says, I went back last March and watched all your videos to date, enjoyed every one of them, even the lives, and done it all at work. Hey, that's awesome, man. Thanks for watching the videos, and I'm glad you got paid to set through that crap. <laughs> Jason, Jason L. Feaster, or Jason L. F. Easter, I'm not sure which, says, what cameras do you use? My boy has a YouTube channel, YouTube fishing channel, and wants to start making better videos. Christmas is coming. Uh, I'll show you here. Let me get my camera back here, buddy. Let's see if I can find one in here. Let me feel around for it. I can't see I'm looking into the dark. Here it is. So I use these right here. These are Sony action cams. This one is a AS20 model. And so that's a piece of fur there on the microphone. Well, these Sony action cams, they're old, they're cheap. I, I'd got one of these as a birthday present years ago I started my channel with, got another one. And then back in the summer, I flipped my kayak, damaged my camera gear, had to replace everything. And when I did, I was like, you know, I like these cameras, they work well for me. So I, they don't make this particular model anymore. I think it was 2014 they made it, but I got on eBay and I found them on there. So I, I bought them on eBay, new in box, but got some new cameras and they work fine. They were like a hundred bucks, 120 bucks. So they're fairly cheap compared to a GoPro, but you can film in 1080, which is all you really need for YouTube purposes. And uh, about the only issue I have with them is overheating and when it's hot, when it's 80 plus degrees and they're in direct sun, they're black. And so they heat up and they overheat. So. That's the only issue I've had. They don't have a screen like, like the GoPros and stuff where you can see what you're filming. You kind of have to point and hope for the best. But once you get it dialed in and kind of know what it is that you're looking at, where it needs to be, it works really well. <clears throat> Most people I know use GoPros though and everybody's had, had problems with them. I mean, everybody. Everybody I know that has GoPro has had some kind of problem. Mike Leiter, $5. Thank you, Mike. He says, hey, how was the fishing tonight? Late again, not used to the night live streams yet. Good luck tonight. Well, thank you, Mike. It's been slow, but we got a big fish. So my night's made regardless. And um, uh, hopefully we'll get some more. I'm going to stay live for, it's about nine o'clock now. Let's say, let's say we're going to stay live for another hour. I need to be out of here at 10 real. I told the girlfriend I'd be home by 11. So um, we'll go a little while longer, see if we get some more. But yeah, Mike, thanks for stopping by, man. Juan Miguel says, everyone agrees on the bait check. We got to get some bites first, man. We got to get some bites for a bait check, but I guess we could switch out some baits if you want to. Y'all want to switch out? Let's switch out some baits. We got plenty of skipjack. We ain't went through much of it tonight. 
we got I still got that headpiece right there from earlier let's just switch this this one has been hit a few times we've had some channel cats and dinks down there messing with this one but yeah you can kind of see they've chewed it up a little bit there so we'll switch it out we'll take a look at our at our other baits and see if they need to be switched too go ahead and put that on Let me find my scissors. I'm going to clip them fins off. Does it matter? I don't know. But I like to do it. Them fins don't serve no purpose. There we go. If it costs you one fish over the course of a lifetime, it's cost you too many, in my opinion. Down it goes. There ain't nothing mess with the live bluegill, so we know he's still on. I ain't going to reel him in because I don't want to I don't want to mess with his swim bladder and all. I'd like for him to stay as lively as possible. I checked him earlier when I was reeling in that big blue. He got, that big blue got wrapped up in the line. And I was worried he might've got knocked off, but he was still on there, so. And this one here was the smaller chunk. Yeah, we'll go ahead and switch that out. Yeah, that one right there, I mean, and I'll show you something about these baits, guys. Hopefully you can see it there in the light. So that bait right there, it's lost some, that headpiece. There it goes. Crap. Well, I'll show you in a minute. We're going to reel in a fish here first. Oh, man. Boy, it's a pull. That's that bait we just dropped down. Man, look at that. That rod tip's in the water. That's a good fish. Holy cow. Holy cow. Let me get it out. Sandra Hiller, if you're still watching, this one's for your brother. We were dedicating the next fish to him. Man, he took that rod over hard, didn't he? We just dropped that bait down. We switched that headpiece out, and down it goes. You talk about good timing. Must have just put it right in his daggone face down there. Man, oh man. He buried that rod. Glad it happened on this side of the kayak so you can actually see the rod, hopefully. That other one was in the... I didn't have my light up on the other one. Oh, he swam behind me here. What is that? Is that a strap? No, that's a blue. He was behind me back there. He's trying to head back out to the main channel. That's another good fish. Also another really good fish. Again, for those of you tuned in late, I'm on Melton Hill tonight. Kind of big fish or bust type spot. So far been big fish not many bites but the ones we've got aside from that small channel cat this is another really good fish i'm gonna let him he's still wound i'm gonna let him do his thing we ain't bringing him in when he's that green i can get hold of my line here try to get him a little closer over here if you're gonna do all that thrashing around at least do it over here closer to the camera blue cat look at that man Look at that. That's a dang good fish, man. I feel like he got bigger the closer I brought him in to me. Holy cow. Nice, man. Nice fish. Let me get my glove. Where'd my glove go? I lost my glove. Oh, there it is. Right there on top of my face. If it is a snake that had me. Man, oh man, oh man. Let me put you all. Hang on. Bear with me. There we go. Let's put you all up here while I land this thing. My screen, yeah, my screen's still on. How many people we got? We got 560 people about to watch a whopper here. This one's whopper size, y'all. This may be, we'll put him on the board. He may be golly whopper when it's said and done. Ate that fresh skipjack head. We just dropped it down. What are the odds of that? Oh, man. Oh, come on in, Blue Kitty. Holy cow, that's a dang good fish, man. Holy cow. This one's bigger than the other one. Ho, 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 I told you, man, big fish are bust tonight, and it's big fish night. It's big fish night. Let me get this hook out. Whoever told me to switch my baits, man. 
Look at that. We switched it out and down it went. Let me move this bait out of the way. Hold on. Y'all look at my hat while I do it. Let me get this out of the way. I just cleaned my kayak the other day. I'm about to have this blood all over it again. Get it slimed up again. Holy cow, that's a big fish, y'all. Man, oh man, that's a big fish. Y'all pumped up for this? I'm pumped up for it. Sandra Hillary, Sandra, one of my biggest supporters, one of my biggest donors. Her brother passed away recently unexpected. She wanted a next fish dedicated to him and here it is. Holy cow, holy cow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me get it in frame here. My camera spun on me a little bit, look at that. Oh man, that's a dang nice fish. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's awesome, man. Wow. That's a heavy fish, y'all. Whew. Yeah, again, you know, I got people that don't like me running me down since all these fish I catch, they ain't real big. They trash. But if this is trash, call me the trash man. I'm the garbage man. I'll take fish like this anytime. Whew. Let's put it on the board, why don't we? Okay, buddy, you be calm for me here. You be calm. Yeah, y'all, this is one of them what I call golly whopper size right here. Look at this. Look at that beast, man. He takes up my whole board. Over 44 inches. On a suspended skipjack head. I'm 43 feet deep of water here in a creek. Holy cow, it's a big fish, man. Oh, that's a golly whopper, man. I don't care what anybody says. Whoo. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boy, he about knocked that whole camera, phone, everything off. Let's get hold of him again. I'll hold you up one more time, big fish, before you act a fool like that. Oh, all right, Sandra Hillary. This one's for you. Sandra, you're awesome. Your brother was awesome. This fish is awesome. Let's say goodbye to it. We're gonna go this way. There he goes. Slipped out of my hand as he was going over. I hate doing that to fish, but when they're that heavy in a kayak, you go over too far, you're going with them. Big fish are buffed tonight. Guys, big fish are bust. We've got the big fish tonight. Heck yeah. Oh man. Whew. I apparently got a live audience up here on the bank watching me up under in this house. That's all right. Oh man. My night's made, y'all, but we staying out here a while longer. Let me, before I get back to the comment box, let me get this bait situated. It's still in perfect condition. We had just switched out the head and sent it down, so we're gonna drop it back down. I was switching out my other baits when that one hit, so we'll go ahead and switch those out too. Get some fresh pieces on. Man, I'm pumped, y'all. What an awesome fish. What an awesome fish. Find my measuring board again. Boy, how bad would it have been if I'd caught that fish and he started flopping around, if he had knocked that phone mount off and that'd have been bad, y'all. <laughs> that would have been bad. Y'all bear with me a second here. I'm gonna, bear with me. I'm gonna get these baits cut up. We're gonna switch some other ones out. Just talk amongst yourselves there in the chat box while I get rebaited here. I'm gonna do like we've done before, a bigger chunk and a smaller chunk. Kind of just offering variety. The 
the smaller chunk, I'm gonna cut the gut pocket out. That first big blue tonight, which wasn't as big as that one, ate the smaller chunk. That one ate the big head, so we're not really seeing a preference. Obviously, they chose the cut bait over this live bluegill. But, uh, you know, as far as the cut or the size of bait, you know, obviously not showing a preference. Main thing is, got fresh skipjack. Got them this morning. Skipjack's kind of the king of baits out here on the on the Tennessee River and, and out here tonight I'm on the Clinch River here on Melton Hill. It's a reservoir of the Clinch River. And skipjack population's good out here. Skipjack and shad are the primary food sources. So if you've got you got fresh skipjack, you're you're in good shape. Let's reel this one in. This was the uh, bigger chunk here we were gonna switch out. And then I'm gonna get back to that chat box. I hope I'm not missing any super chats that are scrolling off the screen because I haven't had that chat box in a few minutes. Put that bait on, get them scales off. Next bait going down. Yeah, yeah, I planned on fishing tonight till nine-ish, unless I wasn't catching fish. If I was catching fish, gonna stay a little longer. I gotta be home by 11, but we staying a little while longer. <laughs> we are staying. You're gonna give it a little more time. Okay, let me get my hands dried off here. We're gonna get back to it. Man, I'm pumped up, y'all, it's so awesome. I love catching big fish. I especially love doing it at a place like this that's not known for big fish. It gives me a little satisfaction knowing I did it somewhere where people don't normally catch them. Boy, I've missed a bunch of comments. I hope I, hope I didn't miss super chats that are rolling off the screen. Okay, there's some comments I've already answered. Okay, good. There's Mike Leiter, $5, says, hey, how late are you fishing tonight? Oh, I already answered that one, Mike, okay. I scrolled up too far, good. I didn't miss any Super Chats. Will Loy, $4.99, thank you, Will. Myra, he said, here's you a good hot cup of your favorite beverage. Well, thank you, Will. That fish has got me pretty warmed up right now. Man. Where did it go? I saw another one there. Where is it? Where is it? Sorry, y'all. I'm going to get to it. I promise I'm going to get to it. Yeah, everybody's saying 40 plus there. Yeah, that was a good one. Everybody's saying awesome fish. Yeah, it was awesome, man. I'm happy to, happy to have it. My Trolling motor's going crazy up here now. Wind move me. Here's C and J Catfish Fever, $5. Thank you. It says, what is the best rig for catfish from the bank? And bank is the best. And do you ever come down to Gunnersville? I don't fish Gunnersville. I want to. Uh, a lot of good fishing there. So it's on the to-do list. Uh, best rig from the bank is probably just a Carolina rig. Uh, that's what I use when I go from the bank. It's just a simple rig easy to set up and it's just it works thank you for that super chat though cnj catfish fever i appreciate it Got another one cali k and k fishing adventures 15 dollars says timothy carey says send that hook to sandra i agree i think that's a great idea that's a great idea yes Sandra, again, hit me up, Sandra. You got my, uh, I don't know if Sandra has my email or not. Get in touch with me, Sandra. We'll figure it out, yeah. That hook there will go to Sandra. Memory of her brother. We just caught that big fish for her. That's awesome, man. I'm so happy to do that. You know, Sandra, Sandra's been such a big supporter of my channel and I hate that she's going through what she's going through. And so for her to want the next fish dedicated to her brother and it be just a, 
a fish like that. That's that's pretty cool. Sandra says that would be nice if I got the hook and picture for my brother. Absolutely. We will make that happen, Sandra. We will absolutely make that happen. <clears throat> Move on down. There's Mike Leiter back with another $10. He says, this is the, for the shipping cost to send the hook to Sandra if you decide to do so. Thank you, Mike. Man, that's so awesome. Thank you for that. Yeah, Sandra will definitely get that hook. Before I leave tonight, before we end the live stream, I'm going to reel these baits up. Uh, and we'll clip them off. One there that was going to go to Cody and that one to Sandra. And uh, we're going to make that happen. Hopefully we're gonna get some more fish on them hooks though before it, before it ends. Hold on. That rod there was getting hit. Probably one of them dinks right there, I'd say. Really small fish. Jessica Sloops is first time watching a live stream. My five-year-old son and I love your videos. He caught a 13 pound cat, calls himself the Catfish King. That's awesome, Jessica. Thanks for letting him watch. And hey, buddy, congrats on that big fish, man. You are the catfish king. That's a big fish. C. Hale says, love this community that everyone is so excited to get the hook to Sandra and then cover down the shipping costs. Good folks. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, it's easy to focus on the negative and I'm bad about feeding into it. But I've got such an awesome support group on here, such a great group of people, and um, I, I, I'm truly blessed. I'm very fortunate to have you all. You all make doing this fun. You make it enjoyable, and uh, you know it's it's a cold night out here on a place that I knew I wasn't going to get many bites if I got any at all. And time has flown by. Hell, we've been at this over three hours now, and it's it feels like we just got started. So uh, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Not a fish, it's my nose. I'm like a small child wiping my nose on my sleeve. <laughs> Cody YouTube says, hey, I'm late, what I miss? You've missed the show, buddy. You've missed a couple of really good fish. Nikki says, got your email for Justin Sandra. Okay, good, thank you, Nikki. Nikki's great about that, uh, getting people's emails and stuff for me. Nikki's a, the MVP. She's like my personal assistant. I got some awesome moderators that keep the chat box clean and, and uh, keep it going for me. And I got Nikki, who's like my personal assistant, screenshotting email addresses for me. <laughs> Lake Sam Rayburn, Crappie King, says, roll up some napkins and stick them out my nose. I need to blow my nose. We're going to try to put that off till I leave, though. CNJ Catfish Fever says, I watched the video when you caught all the big blues at Nick and Jack and going to plan a trip to fish there. I hope you get on them down there, man. There's some good fishing down there. Jerry Ward says, do you know anyone that uses the iFish camera? I do not. I don't know anybody that uses that. Salt and Pepper Catfishing says, what rig are you using while drifting? I use the Carolina rig. I played around with the knocker rig a few years ago and liked it for suspend drifting, but I kept getting so many questions over and over and over. And I was like, you know, Carolina rig works good. Nobody questions it, saves me time. So I just use Carolina rig. Sandra Hillary says, I love people in this wonderful life, man. I'm glad you're able to stay positive during a a very rough time in your life you know they say statistically about once every 10 years that we as humans have a life-altering event and uh, you know it's unfortunate that sandra's going through one of those right now so uh, if i can send her a hook and make it a little better i'm happy to do it Let me scroll on down here. Oh man, this is a lot of comments now. We got 568 people watching, 634 thumbs ups. Man, thank you. It's been a been a productive night on the fish and the people up in here. 
Joe Ziegler to shoot them snot rockets out the side of the boat. <laughs> I could. If I wasn't live on YouTube in front of a big audience right now, I would totally do it. My mom would have a come apart if I did that while I'm live. Hemendra says, do you think you would get a sponsor from Deeper? I use it for my kayak setup right now and it's okay. Uh, I probably wouldn't be interested. I mean, if they pitched me an offer, I'd certainly listen. I always listen to offers. But, uh, you know, it's not a not something that I would be actively using. So the best sponsorship deals are like my deal with Catfish Sumo. It's gear that I use. It's gear that I like. And... Uh, an owner of the company that I like. So those are the best type of deals, kind of mutually beneficial. <clears throat> Mike Barron still here. Thanks, Mike. Glad you, glad you, uh, Eric Thomason says, send hand, send, I'm fumbling my words, says, send Sandra a hat also. If she wants a hat, absolutely. Absolutely. Pro moderator Eric Thompson says autographed. <laughs> if she wants it, she can have it. <clears throat> Jameson Rucker, $5. Thank you, Jameson says, you inspire me to fish every day. Rained one day, river is up, dam is up three to four feet. Any tips? Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Um, my tip would be be safe. Be careful. If the water's up that far, you probably got some uh, you probably got some current flowing through there. So I'd look for them, uh, any slack water areas, if the current's flowing. Um, you know, oftentimes when our water levels are up, the fish move up into the backwaters. You get some shallower movements, you know, they're just going places they couldn't go before. So you get fish working in and out of creeks and stuff. So I would try there. That'd be, that'd be where I would start at. <clears throat> Southwest Catfish Squad says, here, fishy, fishy, the new high bid is 75 bucks and it's mine. Awesome, man, thanks for putting in a bid. Yeah, y'all, for those of you tuning in late, I've got the ugly stick rods that I built my channel with. They're going on eBay one at a time individually each week for the next four weeks. So the first one's up there. There's a link in the video description if you wanna make a bid and get a part of the history of this channel or maybe just get you a lucky rod. <laughs> Dominic Hollis said, did you miss my super chat? Possibly, Dominic. Um, let me scroll up. Dominic, I may have missed it, buddy. I got some excitement going on there. There it is. I did miss it, Dominic. He says, $5. Says, Justin, you're freaking amazing, and Sandra, we're here for you. Well, thank you, Dominic. I'm sorry. I, missed, I don't know how I missed that. I hope I haven't missed anybody else's. I don't know how I missed that, Dominic. I'm sorry. I'll try to do better. Yeah. James Croft says, time for a flathead. I hope you're right, man. That'd top off the night, wouldn't it? We got us a big flathead. Fish Boy Fishing says, do you have a suggestion for a kayak trolling motor? I guess it depends on what you want. If you're just wanting a motor to power your kayak, like not GPS functions, you could get by with a Minn Kota, just, you know, $100 deal at Walmart, 30 pound thrust, that would be fine. If you're wanting a um, motor like I've got up here with the spot lock and GPS and course heading and all that, um, I kind of like this Motor Guide XI3. Now I've only had it since the summer, so I haven't had a lot of time with it to really see longevity, you know, the quality long-term. But thus far it's been, it's been great. It's faster than the Minn Kota I had. It's quiet. And so other than just having to kind of DIY how I raise and lower it, that's been the only obstacle with it. So um, I like it. It's a little pricey. Um, I paid 13 I think after tax. I had free shipping, 13-something um, for it. Kind of had the opportunity to try it out and... If I liked it, I could pay for it. And if not, I, I could just, you know, send it back. And so, um, you know, it was shipped to me and then I ended up paying for it. It was 13 something after tax and everything. So kind of pricey, but uh, it's been awesome for me.
D. Duran says, who has the moon pies? I got one in my bag, buddy. <laughs> Juan McGill says, hey, Justin, can you give a shout out to my girlfriend? I don't know if it's Joni or Johnny. I had a friend named Johnny that I used to work with. Her was, it, it was spelled J-O-N-I and she, she was going, went by Johnny. So Joni or Johnny, there's your shout out. So she's been here listening to you the whole time. She knows I watch you every time. <laughs> Well, Joni or Johnny, again, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Thank you for letting uh, one McGill watch there. Sean Heath, $5, says, thank you for bringing us along tonight, brother. Have a great night. Well, thank you, Sean. Glad to have you here. Thank you for the super chat. Jesse Tenorio says, God bless you, Sandra, and God bless Justin. Well, thank you, Jesse. Sandra Hillary says, that blue catfish looked more white or was it the light? Probably a little bit of both. He seems a little lighter in color to me too. But my light up there is, is white. So it does kind of bleach things here in the kayak. Everything, even like my kayak hatch up here, looks a little bit more white than it actually is in, in, in real life. Stephen Long says, Justin, you're the hardest working fisherman I see on YouTube absolutely appreciate everything you do. Well, thank you, Stephen. I appreciate you saying that. Billy Wilder still in the house. Mike Lauder said, have you ever tried the pumpkin moon pies? They're great. Just bought six of them to try. I have, Mike. And they are pretty good. I still prefer the chocolate original, but um, I, do, I do try these other moon pie flavors occasionally too. I got to wipe my nose again, y'all getting cold up out here. Lake Sam Rayburn, Crappie King, says, too bad Minn Kota Ultera doesn't have a kayak version of their Ultra Ultera full size. I agree, man. I, I keep hoping. So the Motor Guide XI3 that I have, this is the kayak version. And it's the same damn motor that's on the boat. The only difference is it's a shorter shaft. Same weight, same mount, all of it's the same. And I wish Minn Kota would, or even Motor Guide, either one, would make a motor with the shorter shaft, but also a lighter weight mount just to cut some of the weight. That's a lot of weight on, that's, I don't know, 30, 35 pounds probably. And in calm water, it's fine. But when you get a little chop, you start plowing through waves and this Hobie Pro Angler hatch sucks as far as blocking water out. You get a lot of water inside the hull, so I wish they had a lighter weight option up there for us. Eventually it will happen. One of the big motor companies, Minn Kota or Motor Guide, will make us what we need once the demand gets there for it. There is Chad Voss, 499. Thank you, Chad. It says, love the channel. I'm interested in online fishing tournaments. I'd like to get involved in one or two. Well, great, man. That's awesome, Chad. Would like to have you in on my check out kayak catfishing tournaments. There's a Facebook group that Kayak Mike runs. All the tournament info's in there. And you can also download the Fishing Chaos app. It's a free app on Android and iPhone. That's where the tournaments are listed and that's where the scoring is done. So you can see all the tournaments that are available on there on that app. Just look up kayak catfishing tournaments once you download the app. So I hope you do. I hope you do well in the tournaments, man. Tracy Johnson, Catfish Club member, says, my daughter Rebecca has watched you a lot. She loves the fish. Well, shout out to Rebecca. <clears throat> Zach Beaver says, just arrived. Where you been, Zach? We've been catching some fish out here tonight, man. We've got two whoppers on here tonight. We've got some skipjack and bluegill in the water right now. Steve says, Justin, why is that Atlanta player who just popped out wearing a pearl necklace? You must be talking about Jock Peterson. <laughs> he's a former Dodger. My girlfriend liked him when he played for the Dodgers. Not so much now. But yeah, he's got that pearl necklace on for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. It stands out though, don't it? <laughs> Philip Holland says, phone is about to die. Well, thank you, Philip. Thank you for stopping by tonight. Sandra Hillary's telling people to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah. Sandra, they got to subscribe if they want to chat with me. These live streams are subscriber only chats now. A 
There's Justin Statham says, Steve, he did it to make fun of all the players with gold. He got pearls and played well that night and kept wearing them. <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Oh, Jock Peterson. <laughs> Lonnie Broyles says, I don't see how you can answer the same question as many times as you do. I could not do it. It does drive me insane, man. That's why we've turned on subscriber only chats because I get asked the same question. Do you eat any fish? Why don't you weigh them? What's your biggest fish? All the time. So I'm like, we turn on subscriber only people that watch me regularly and eliminate a lot of that. <laughs> oh, Daniel Duran must be leaving. Have a good night, buddy. There's Tim Zizimski. What's going on, Tim? Brady Parrish is watching, as always, eating one of your favorite after-fishing meals, the KFC Famous Bowl. Oh, man. That's awesome, Brady. Uh, matter of fact, I had KFC for lunch today. I didn't get the Famous Bowl, though. I had their uh, classic chicken sandwich and fries. KFC's got some pretty good fries. That's one thing they've, they've hit a home run on on, on their fries. Riker Brox is what's the temp? Cold, cold right now, buddy. It's dropping down to 40s, I think. I'm shivering a little bit. My nose is running. I got my jacket back here, but I hate to take my life jacket off and all that to put it on. I'm only going to fish about 30 more minutes or so. Michael Sailors it says, How's it going, Justin? Getting here late. Been packing up for my trip to hunt with my brother. Well, hey, man, glad to have you. Better late than never. There's Mike Leiter back with another $28. Thank you, Mike. That's awesome. He says, this is for a hat for Sandra. I think that's how much they cost on catfish sale. Man, Mike, that is so awesome. Thank you so much for that. I'm sure Sandra appreciates that too. Yeah, she will absolutely. She's going to get that hook over there. We caught that big monster blue on, and she's going to get the hat too. So thank you, Mike. That's so nice of you. Mike's a generous man. Tim Blackman says, you're one tough fisherman. Cold night time is not for the wimps. Yeah, it's it's not as cold as what it is up there with Callie in North Dakota. She's probably minus four degrees right now, but uh, it's colder than I like. I am a warm weather, fair weather fisherman, and I am not ashamed to say it. I like warm weather. I don't like being cold. And uh, once we first get into fall here and it starts getting cold, you know, two months from now, high 40s low 50s will feel like a warm front but right now this first shock to the system when it first starts getting cold it's it's a little tough on me <clears throat> mike Barron says i found this channel about three years ago best channel i could have found i watch another channel but none amount to this one thank you mike i'm glad you stuck with me so long man that's a long time that's longer than most uh marriages last <laughs> William Clarius asks a good question. Says, Justin, how often do you change your line on your catfish rod? So back when I was using braid, I changed rarely, maybe once every other year. Now that I'm using mono all the time, I change two to three times per year, every few months. With my, my line here, and I don't know if you can see in the light, it's a bright green. When it starts turning, when it starts fading color, I'll switch it out. And also too, we got a fish tapping that. I was gonna say, uh, when the line, in the hot summer months, when I leave my rods in a car oftentimes and they just bake in the sun, that mono will weaken. And so I'll switch them out there in the summertime too, but usually two to three times a year on the line. That's a really good question, William. Three three four outdoors says northern Mississippi is cold too. He's ready to go back to Florida. I'm with you, man. Zachary Thompson says, wish I could enjoy talking baseball, but my cubbies are back to being the lovable losers again, enjoying the live streams. Yeah. I hope the Cubs turn it around for you soon, Zachary. Maybe I hope it ain't another 90 years or whatever it was before they got the World Series. Anthony D says, I still vote she gets the leader, not just the hook. She can have whatever she wants, man. There's pro moderator Eric Thompson saying that the hat was his idea. 
K and K Fishing Adventures. Callie says, love seeing a community come together for one of its members. We got you, Sandra. Yeah. I got the best community on here. You know, the the overall catfishing community isn't one that but just keep it I'm gonna keep it real with you. It's, the overall catfishing community I don't really give a crap about. I don't. Those people back before my YouTube channel got big, I was looked down upon because I fished out of a kayak. I was kind of inferior. It wasn't until my channel blew up that those people started showing me any kind of respect whatsoever. And now oftentimes these guys that have been in the catfishing community, been doing it longer than I have, they're the ones that you see taking shots all the time, trolling and whatnot. And I'm like, hell with them people. I don't need the catfishing community. I got my own community right here. People that are positive, like-minded, and enjoy doing the same thing. So. The overall catfishing community, they can have it. I got you guys. I got all I need. So that's my rant on that. <laughs> hey, we got Terry Tunnel, $1.99. Thank you, Terry. Terry didn't leave a comment. Let me scroll on down and see if Terry left one after that. I don't see it. Well, I'm sorry about that, Terry. I wish you left me a comment with your donation there. I'd have gladly read it. Lake Sam Rayburn, Crapper King says, them folks up north getting ready for hard water season. Yeah, that ain't for me, buddy. I like my water to be bath water warm. <laughs> Old man on the hill says, 51 here, too cold for me to fish. I tell you, man, when it's in the 50s and the wind's blowing, it's cold. Brian Gamber says, doe bait, yes or no? That's a no for me. Sandra Hillary says, everyone in here makes my hope in this crazy world nowadays stay together as one with love. How awesome. Yeah, that's, again, we've got an awesome community of people in here. I think we went down a few tonight early on in the stream, but quality over quantity around here. Steve says, I'm for Astros, but this Atlanta pitcher is badass. That Matzik guy they have, that reliever, man, he was dominant the other night. I knew when he was in there throwing the heat, throwing them strikes like a dot, it's over for the Dodgers. It's over. Atlanta's got a good team. It could be their year. Here's Daniel, $45. Thank you, Daniel. He says, here's $1 for the size of the last fish. I finally got to catch you live. Last one, you were looking for Ryan with both Eric's. And then the virus tried to take me. Sorry to hear about Roscoe. Well, Daniel, thank you. I think he means $1 for every inch of that fish there. He hit me up with $45. Thank you so much, Daniel. And I'm sorry you got the virus, man. I'm glad you I'm glad you come out on the other side of it. Hope you're back to normal and feeling better again. I really appreciate that, man. Cody YouTube says, I started on a kayak and finally got a John boat. I think he means you don't need 20,000 to catch a fish, just term, determination and hard work. That's the truth, man. There's lots of bank fishermen that do better than I do, you know, in a kayak, and there's lots of guys in the kayak that do better than guys in the boats. It don't, it don't take a lot of money to, to catch fish. You can go out and be successful with what you got. Zach Mack Fishing says, big cold front in West Texas. Hope it activates the cats. Yeah, we had a little front come through here yesterday too. It really messed up a skipjack for me this morning. I had to, they moved on me. I had to go find them and uh, thankfully got some, but uh, I was worried about that coming out here tonight. Hold on again, y'all. I got to mess up my nose. But yeah, I was worried about that coming out here tonight. I was like, this is a big fish or bust spot and I may buffed just because of the, the front, but thankfully we got two big fish out here tonight. So it's been a good night for me. We got, where'd it go? I saw it, where'd it go? It popped up. There it is. A&A &A Homestead, $50. This is formerly A&A &A Fishing. Can you remind folks where to get that awesome hat? Thank you for that super chat. Man, that's very generous of you, A&A. Uh, this hat here, available at catfishsumo.com. Use the code word kayak at checkout. Get you 10% off your order and free shipping. And that goes for everything on the Catfish Sumo site. So if you need hooks, uh, floats, uh, sumo spoons, if you want to buy a rod and reel combo, all of that stuff's available. And that code works for all of it. So 
thank you for that super chat and thanks for prompting me to remind people about the hats there. I need to be, I need to be, as much as Daniel pays me, I need to be plugging him about every hour in these live streams. I need to do better about it. Thankfully, he's more, uh, more lenient on that kind of thing. <laughs> Michael Saylor says, I miss Sandra's story. Can you fill me in? Absolutely. So Sandra Hillary, big supporter of my channel, recently lost her brother unexpectedly. And so earlier tonight, she said, can you dedicate the next fish you catch to my brother? And was like, absolutely, I'd love to do that. And I'll be doggone if the next fish we catch wasn't a whopper. I mean, it was a damn whopper. Took up my whole board, huge fish. And so that fish went to her brother there and um, we're giving her the hook from the hook that caught that fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something together for a hook and a hat and all that. And we're gonna send that down there to Sandra. So that's the Sandra story. <clears throat> Holly Tridell says, watch out for the river monsters that come out at night. I've caught two of them tonight, Holly. It's been a damn good night. That damn fishing guy, he's a catfish club member. He says, hey, what's up? Can I get a shout out trying to grow my channel? That damn fishing guy. Absolutely. Thanks for being a member of my channel, man. Y'all go check out that damn fishing guy on YouTube. Got a growing channel. He could use all the support he can get. We've got this awesome community here, so y'all go help him out. Oh, there he is with the super chat. Uh, he said, can I get a, sh a channel shout out that damn fishing guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. I just read your comment right above that, buddy, but thank you for the super chat. Again, y'all, the catfish club member thing. So what I do is I go through looking for the super chats and then I start looking for the catfish club icon and then I go to everybody else. So I just seen his little uh, catfish club icon and answered his question and then he popped up with the super chat. <clears throat> Terry Tunnel says, my Callie and I enjoy watching your lives and all the other videos. Well, thank you, Terry. Thank you, Callie, too. Thank you for watching. Michael Stubblefield says he loves watching. Thank you, Michael. Hey, there's Myra, y'all. ML Loy, 499. Her husband, Will, was on here earlier. Says, I'm watching now, too. Catch a big one before I go to Sleepy Town. Come on, Golly Whopper. Well, Myra, thank you for that. It better come quick because I'm cold. I'm about to take it out of here in about... 20 minutes or so. We we're wrapping this thing up. CNJ Catfish Fever says, where do you get the spoons you use to catch a skipjack with? Uh, Catfish Sumo, catfishsumo.com. He sells the spoons. I think they're $11.99 for a four pack of them and uh, free shipping. So, you know, it's uh, no extra fees on there. No minimum orders. If you just buy a pack of spoons for $11.99, it's $11.99. So, There's Callie back with another $15. Thank you, Callie. K and K Fishing Adventures. That's another YouTube channel y'all need to check out. She puts out a lot of content, catches some good fish up there in North Dakota. It says 41 degrees with 20 mile an hour winds. December, January, we averaged nine degrees. Wow. Record low was set in 1936 at minus 60. We have a saying in winter up here, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the cold. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, when it gets that cold, it's like, how can you tell the difference between minus 10 and minus 30? And once it's that cold, you just froze. <laughs> I'd be froze solid. I went up to Rochester, Minnesota in the winter a few years ago and, and thought, when we stepped off the plane, I thought, boy, well, this is, how do people live up here? <laughs> Eric Romine says, love that channel name, that damn fishing guy. That's a good one, ain't it? That's very creative. Hey, Daniel, just joined the Catfish Club. Man, he hit me up with $45, now joined the club. Thank you, Daniel. There's another $5 from that damn fishing guy. I said, love your videos, brother. Keep on keeping on. Well, thank you, man. Big thanks to that damn fishing guy and for Daniel for joining the Catfish Club. Dominic Hollis says, you just got him another subscription. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate you helping him out. Southwest Catfish Squad says, what's your longest dry streak in recent years? Um, I guess, I mean, if you're talking like skunk trips, I don't know. I don't know. I've been skunked. Uh, it happens. I'm trying to think if it's happened consecutive days. 
Eric Thomason could probably tell you that, my pro moderator. I took him out three or four times without catching fish. Wasn't consecutive days, but it was three or four trips. I got him skunked every damn time. <laughs> That's probably my longest dry run there. Here comes Callie back with another $15. Thank you, Callie. Says, minus 10, you can still breathe. Minus 30 knocks the wind out of you when you step out the door. At minus 10, I don't know that I'd want to still be breathing, Callie. <laughs> Thank you again for that super, man, Callie. Callie's loaded me up, y'all. Callie hits me up with numerous donations all the time. Eric Romine says, every time he takes me, I catch a whopper. Yeah, we did get Romine's on a, on a uh, good strapper, about ripped his rod, did take off with his rod. Thankfully, he got that back. That was a heck of a day, a heck of a video. Sandra says, Justin, please don't catch a cold. Should probably wrap it up. Yeah, we're going to here in a few minutes, Sandra. Yeah, I've got my jacket right back here behind me. But uh, I got to take my life jacket off and the microphone off. And I'm like, we'll just ride it out here till 10 o'clock. It is getting a little chilly out here, though. I ain't going to lie. It's, it's cold tonight. It's, it's in the, I was supposed to be in the 40s by the time I wrapped up tonight, but the big thing is the wind and the dampness. That's what makes it feel colder than it actually is, I think. Cody Yak Fishing says, I'm subbing to K&K. &K. That's awesome, man. Thanks for doing that, Cody. Justin Greer, $10, says, birds of the same feather flock together. Great bunch of people here. Absolutely, Justin. Thank you for that super chat. Yeah, of all the communities in the fishing world, the community here that watches my videos and hangs out with me here, I got the best by far. I ain't even close. We got Marlon K says, I live in Northwest Iowa and minus 10 is tolerable for a little while, but minus 30 is not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. You Iowa guys have some rough winters too. There's Charles Hoshk. So Justin, thank you for the super champ. You have all the communities in it. Well, thank you, Charles. Hold on, y'all. I gotta wipe my nose again. I'm like a kid, man. If this was a black shirt tomorrow after it dries, it'd be just streaks up my arm here. It'd be disgusting. <laughs> Jack Perkins says, catch any whoppers, just got to the live stream. We got two, man. We've got two really good fish out here tonight. It's been a good night. Let's see. Jack Hansen says, California catfish always small, but they're numerous. Yeah, I've got some viewers out there in California. Um, um, the fellow who sponsored an upcoming video here, he lives in San Diego, California. Actually, that's where his, uh, where his business is at out there. And uh, he's into catfishing and whatnot. But uh, it's amazing. I got people all over the world watching. It's pretty crazy. Zach Mack fishing. He says, the only thing we like cold in Texas is our beer. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Old man on the hill said, you should have brought that heater. I thought about it, man. I did, but I thought, man, no no colder than it's going to be tonight. Uh, people will be, they'll be trash talking me down there. I'm wishing I had it right about now. Ted says, Justin, love the content from the lives. Keep it up. Thank you, Ted. I plan on it, man. Z Deckard says he gets me every time he says hang on guys and turns the camera around <laughs> well y'all don't want to watch me do my nose there <laughs> EB Fishing says how much is that catfish hat I want to buy one uh, $27.99 but you use that discount code kayak should bring it down to $25 or so and free shipping mm -mm. Jack Hansen said, would you go to Amazon and try to catch a red tail or paraba? I'd like to at some point. I think uh, River Certified just went down there and caught some huge fish. I'd like to do it. Looks like an awesome time. James Favey says, you're blowing smoke. Yeah, I can see it here. I can see my breath. Juan Miguel says, will you be doing more live videos in the coming year? 
than you did this year. Yeah, I will. The live stream kind of took off for me. Um, kind of unexpectedly. I didn't really, really, I didn't think they would be that popular. I feel like I'm boring on here, you know, but um, they've really kind of taken off. There's a demand. I've got a live stream audience in addition to my regular video audience. And so I'm planning on doing more. Once we get on into spring, I'll focus a lot more on regular content then, but I'm still going to be putting out some live streams. And, uh, but I still, I want to, those regular videos grow the channel more in the spring and summer months. And right now these live streams, I'm just kind of, gives me more interaction time with my regular viewers. And so they, they both have their positives and, 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 and negatives to them, but uh, definitely, I definitely want to keep this going. Nikki says, one night I received some turkey dollars. He has followers from all over. I did, yeah, I got, I got money from Turkey, Israel. Um, I've had money, I think, from the Czech Republic, England. I've had, it's amazing. Tommy Bounds says, thank you for the live stream. Thank you for watching, Tommy. Jeremy Lee says, kite, catfish, river certified collaboration. We've done it, man. Um, it's been three or four years, but we did it. It's on my channel. It's on his too. There's Daniel with another $50. Thank you, Daniel. Wow. Man, Daniel's hit me up big time tonight. Thank you so much, Daniel. He didn't leave a comment with that one, but... I appreciate it, Daniel, man. Loaded me up tonight. He hit me up with $45 earlier, one, $1 for every inch of that big blue we caught. <clears throat> There's Jesse, he's fixing to get out of here. We'll see you later, Jesse. Thanks for being a Catfish Club member. There's James, any luck tonight? Yeah, Delaware Paven, any luck tonight? Yeah, man, we've got two big fish out here tonight. It's been a good night. Tim. Rising Nurse is new to the channel. Hello from Oklahoma. Love your videos. Well, thank you, Tim. Glad to have you, man. Appreciate you watching me. Oklahoma's another state where I got a, I got a lot of big following, a lot of people out there. Leighton Castile, how are? I guess his comment got cut off. <laughs> well, y'all listen, it's 949. I'm cold. I'm, I'm shivering out here. I think the camera's uh, shaking a little bit because it's cold. So I got to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave these baits in the water here, but I am going to reel up because I've, I've got this leader here that's going to Sandra Hillary and I got the other one that's going to Cody. So I'm going to go ahead and reel those up. We'll snip those. We'll leave our other ones in the water here in case we get bit while I'm doing it. But I'm going to flip the camera around here on my chest. If I can get it down in a life jacket, there it goes. Now let's reel us up. Let's do Cody's over here. He got the first big blue tonight. We're going to do this one. I don't know if y'all can see all that bait right there. There's this shad everywhere. It's all my screen there on the graph that you're probably seeing. Look at all that shad. My light's just drawing them in. All right. I'm going to just snip this leader here and hopefully not lose my sinker in the water when I do it. You have to get me a catfish sumo order of sinkers. I'll start dropping them down in there. Let me catch it. There it is. All right, let me put this rod up. Now I got to figure out how I'm going to keep these separated. So let me stick this over here. I'm going to have to go back and watch this section of the video. So Cody's leader is going in my hatch. It's going in the center hatch. We'll put Sandra's in my camera back. And that's how I'll remember to keep them separate. Yeah, that one, man, that first fish, my night was made after it. That was a dang good fish. That other big blue we got, man, that's just a bonus. And again, for those of you who tuned in late tonight, I'm out here on Melton Hill Lake, not known for its catfishing, but there are some big ones in here. And I'll come out here tonight willing to get skunked on this live stream because this is a big fish or bust spot for me. And uh, thankfully tonight we got, to, we got to big fish tonight. 
So at some point in time, if I keep fishing Melton Hill through the fall here, we will get skunked on one of these live streams. It is inevitable. Anyway, there is Sandra's leader, and this one is going in my camera bag behind the seat. And that's how I will keep them separate. We'll put that rod up. And I can find my rod holder. Where'd it go? My jacket's covering it. Bear with me, y'all. I'm going to get back to that chat box in just a second. All right. All right, guys. So uh, anyway, we got them two rods. We got our leaders squared away. Let me scroll up here. We've got Smoky Mountain Cat Kings join the Catfish Club. Thank you, man. Thank you for your support. Appreciate you joining the club. We've added a lot of new members tonight, and uh, I'm thankful for you. Sorry, I'm getting, getting my words messed up here. But anyway, uh, I'll get it out directly. I got snot going down the back of my throat here. I'm having a hard time. But I was trying to say, we've added a lot of new members to the Catfish Club tonight, and uh, I'm happy to have you, man. You all are supporting me on a monthly basis. It means a lot to me. I'm so thankful to everybody who has super chatted me tonight. I've got not only such an awesome, positive group of people who watch, but very generous too. And you all keep me in business. This is, you know, this is what pays the bills for me. So I couldn't do it without you. And um, glad to have you. It's been a fun night. There's Deuces Wild. There's my buddy Mark. Says, good luck, my friend. I'm not giving you any money. <laughs> yeah, old Mark. Me and him was going to fish tomorrow, y'all, on his boat. We were going to go live. But the wind is supposed to be up tomorrow, you know, and it's like, do we set a live stream and then get blown away? And, you know, so if the wind's calm tomorrow, I'm just going to go fishing and try to film a regular video. If it's up, I'm just going to do some stuff around the house. <clears throat> oh, there was Daniel's comment. Where'd it go? There it is. He says, got to go. Stay safe, Justin, and have a great night. Thank you so much, Daniel. James Cardwell says, you're real with people, Justin. That's why it took off. You don't care to answer people's questions and help them do better from bait to rods, reels, hooks, set up. You don't try to hide info for yourself. Well, thank you, James. I appreciate you saying that, man. I'm going to wipe my nose again. But uh, yeah, James, man, that's one of the things in the fishing community that I hate is a lot of these guys are so secretive with information. They try to hide stuff just to hoard it for themselves so they so that they can catch more and bigger fish than the next person who doesn't have the experience or the knowledge and kind of hold it over their heads. Like, I'm better than you because I catch these fish. Man, it's, it's a resource. We can all have fun and enjoy it, and it don't matter who catches more big fish. Unless you're in a tournament. If you're in a tournament, obviously, the goal is to win. But... You know, when you're just going out fishing, who cares? Share your knowledge. Share your passion with other people. Teach them to do what you do. And just most importantly, teach them conservation and how to protect the resource. Because if we're all catch and release and we're all taking care of the fish, we can all enjoy it and have a good time. So I try to share. I don't have a lot of knowledge. I'm not the best fisherman. I've never claimed to be. But the little bit of knowledge I do have, I try to share it. I don't hide anything. I don't hide spots. I'll tell you where I'm at. I'll show you on my graph how I'm set up, why. And I think it is a big part of why my channel has done so well. So thank you, James. That was a very nice comment. I appreciate you pointing that out. <clears throat> Let me scroll on down here. Y'all, we about to wrap it up here. Let me, just, let me just pull out a few more. Sandra Hill, he says, Justin, you're a special man. Don't ever change your character. Well, thank you, Sandra. I appreciate you saying that too. Let me scroll on down and find some more. Dale Rister says, Justin, I want to send you some hats from our shop, Outdoor World. We sell mowers, but the boss makes really nice hats. Well, thank you, Dale. I appreciate the gesture. Bill Younger says, you need to get something hot to drink to thaw out. That's the truth, man. I'm cold. I'm cold on the inside right now. It's the dampness. It's the wind and the dampness. It's a light breeze and it's just so damp. That always makes things feel like it's colder. Leighton Howard. Hey, what's going on, Leighton? Catfish Club member. Says, any luck tonight? Yeah, man, we got two big blues. One of them was a dang good one. 
Zachary Blanco says good night, good night. Well, I think Zachary's um, hit the nail on the head there. I think we're gonna wrap it up. It's about 10 o'clock. I told the girlfriend I'd be home by 11. Um, big fish or bust tonight. We got our big fish, y'all. Got two of them. Been a fun night. Thank you to everybody who tuned in. Thank you to everybody who super chatted me. Um, thank you to my moderators, to everybody who's helped keep this chat box clean tonight. I couldn't do this without you. I want to spend another special shout out to the troops, police, fire, healthcare workers, uh, first responders, truck drivers, man, anybody in the public service, with the exception of the politicians, heck with them. Um, but all of us out there, thanks for what you do. Uh, you know, it's, this world keeps going because of you, and I've got a damn good life I'm living right now, and it's because of all of you. So thank you for what you do. I got one more super chat here, y'all. Smoky Mountain Cat King's new Catfish Club member says, Hey, Justin, I would like to go fishing with you soon. I'm going to Kingston Steam Plant this weekend. My name is Thomas Esslinger. Well, thank you for that there, uh, Thomas. Thank you for the super chat and for joining the club. I don't do any kind of guided stuff, and unfortunately, you know, I don't. I'm not, I'm not licensed or insured to be taking people out. So I generally don't unless it's like another YouTuber thing where we can treat it like a business type thing. But uh, I do appreciate your interest. And I hope you have a great trip down there to Steam Plant. There's some good fish in that area, so I hope you catch them, man. We've got one more. They keep popping up, y'all. <laughs> Here's Jeremy Bracey, 499. He says, you're a great person. Thank you. Well, thank you, Jeremy. I really appreciate your your contribution there to my channel and i appreciate you watching tonight. i appreciate all of you watching tonight it's been a it's been an awesome night i mean i've said it before anytime i get a big fish it's a good time i mean i enjoy doing this it's this is fun for me i'm not one of these people that if i don't catch a big fish i'm disappointed i'm gonna have fun regardless but getting the big ones tonight has been a lot of fun and again we've been live now for 236 minutes and 23 seconds and it feels like it has flown by to me i mean it's just i feel like we just got out here other than me just freezing to death right now so um, it's been a great night i'm looking forward to the next one i don't know when we'll do the next one with the weather situation um, coming up here on thursday and friday we may could pull off another one this week if if the if the weather allows uh, if not, I'm going to try to go to South Carolina in the next week or two when I get a um, clearing in the weather and wind over there. Hopefully go live from there if service allows. And um, what else did I need to cover one more time? Oh, the rods there on eBay. So there's an eBay link down in my video description for my ugly stick rods and a reel I've used in videos. If you want a collectible item, if you want a lucky rod, there's a link down there. Uh, the bid started at 99 cents. I think it's up to more than that now. But uh, anyway, if you want that, it's there for you. And here comes another one. That's Smoky Mountain Cat Kings again. Uh, $5. He says, I have started a YouTube channel. I'm happy to do that. Me and my partners are making a business out of this name. Well, hey, man, good luck with your channel, man. I hope it's a, I hope it's a successful business for you. Just do what you love and have fun, and I have no doubt it'll, it'll take off for you. All right, everybody's saying good night. There's Chris Jones, Catfish Club member, Cody Yak Fishing. Mike Barron saying be careful on the way back. There's Douglas Madison, 33 and 76, man. Yeah, we've got some bids on that stuff tonight. Thank you all so much for bidding. Those auctions end on Sunday. So uh, I'll make some more social media posts between now and then. But uh, yeah, thank you all for your support. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna turn it off. We still got 428 people in here. 751 thumbs up. Thank you all so much. It's been a great night. I hope you all have a safe and blessed night.